Bible tier list. I'm fucking ready for it. All right, ready? So there's God tier, best of the best, good, med, bad. We got to change this though, okay? We got to we got to put this we got to put this uh we got to change the names of this. Okay? So here we go. From the top tier is going to be uh Hold on. The top tier is going to be Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Should we do the ki should we do a should we do a kissing tier list like we did for uh for for Dark Souls bosses? Should we do a bi biblical kissing kissing tier list? All right, we're doing it. Okay, but this is going to be het as fuck. So, I'm going to have to this is going to be a real challenge, okay? Cuz uh I'm not usually like super into into mask people. Uh but there are some, but I'm going to put myself out there for this, okay? This one, this one is here we go, okay? Number one. Uh, let's see. We got to do number one. Uh, this is going to be called the, this is going to be called the Awuga tier, okay? This is going to be the Awuga tier, okay? This is the one that, that you just can't hold yourself, okay? Can't hold yourself in. Don't forget to change the Twitch category. Oh, yeah, I got to change my Twitch one. Hold on a second. Let me do that. I, I, I know they'll get mad at me. Hey, 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 get the fuck out of here. All right, here we go. Let's change this real quick. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. We got to change this to just chatting. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, so it's been changed. Here we go. Make a bruh category. Yeah, the bottom one is going to be bruh. Bruh. Okay. Uh, let's put the bottom tier, unfuckable. The middle tier would be... We can keep the middle tier as meh. This one will be... Uh, honorable mentions. Hold on. No, this will be... This one will be... Hold on a second. Wait, we got this. The top one is a wooga. The, 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 the second one is 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 going to be... Who mama! Okay? The third one is going to be... Uh... I'd do it. I'd bang. Then we have meh. Then we have unfuckable. And then we have bruh. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, wood. Whoo, mama. And then a wooga. Okay, here we go. I'll be back in a while. Why are you going away? Why are you going away? Is this... Is, is this... Wait, before you begin, I'd recommend taking a look at the new Holy Bible. Tokyo Drift. Holy Bible 2 Tokyo Drift. Okay. All right. All right, let's do this, okay? I'm go I might have to look up some of these to remember the exact character. Okay, let's start. Isaac. Okay. Isaac. Isaac. Okay. So, Isaac is definitely cooler than Abraham. Abraham, sorry, but I don't got I don't got a whole lot of um. Wait, we'll get there. Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Um, let's not get ahead on characters yet, okay? So, let's think about this. Um, you think Isaac is worse than Abraham. Abraham was going to kill his son. Only looks, no deeds? Nah, it's impossible. We have to take deeds in. We have to take deeds in. So let's think about this. Isaac did play favorites with his sons. That's true. Because his sons were Jacob and Esau, right? Now, okay. Isaac, I think we're going to just put in the meh category, okay? The Not only is the vibe, like, I, I got kind of a meh, regrettable hookup, okay? Yeah. 
Okay, that's perfect, a night night. Yes. Yes, this has to do... You, you have to do looks and deeds. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, it's true. True, Pansabi. See, so regrettable hookup would be Isaac for sure. Okay, now hold on a second here. All right? Jacob. Okay? Jacob. Wrestles with angels. Jacob? I'm going to put Jacob in the who mama category. Okay? Because if you can wrestle with a fucking angel... Yeah, Jacob is fucking ripped. He's got... He's a strong... Yeah, and he won! Jacob's not... Wait, why is Jacob bad? What did Jacob do wrong? Yeah, he's fucking... He's fucking based. Also, Jacob grabbed onto his brother's fucking ankle. He was like, my brother got born? I'm not... Get back here, you motherfucker. And he reached out of his mom's vagina and grabbed Esau's foot. I go first, not you. Yeah, what the fuck? That's fucking pog. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to tell you all to shut the fuck up if you're gonna try and cancel Bible characters. You realize that every single one of these people, like, basically committed genocide? Yeah, it's a Chad move. That also means, however... Hold on, wait a second. Let's take a look here. Hmm... Hmm. Oh, yeah, Yakub. Yakub is Jacob as well. Okay, hold on a second, though. Okay, so wait. Esau, I'm going to give Esau a who mama as well, okay? And the reason being is that, look, again, I'm not into the, you know, like, burly, hairy types, okay? That's not my, that's not my style, but... Esau is a pog ass hunter. He provides for his family. Uh, he got Esau was like, like, not like there's all this family bullshit. He founded an entire country, and he was also he was his dad's favorite, but he wasn't his mom's favorite. He did try to kill Jacob, but like you can't really hold that against him, you know. And Jacob did trick his dad with the hair. He put a fur on his arm. Um, so, like, Esau was really fucking hairy. And so when, when, uh, when Isaac started to go blind, um, Jacob put hair on it, like, put a fur on his arm and was like, look, it's me, I'm Esau. And then, and then his dad was like, okay, here's your inheritance, son. Uh, and then died. So, okay, we're going to give it, we're still going to give him a who mama though. Okay, both Jacob and Esau are pretty pog. All right. So. Laban. Okay, Laban. I don't know about Laban. I don't know who Laban is. Let's look. Laban the Aramean is a figure in the book of Genesis of the Hebrew Bible. He was the brother of Rebekah. Laban welcomed his nephew as a young man and set him, sent him the stipulation of seven years labor before he permitted him to bear, marry his daughter, Rachel. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Eh, we'll put him in it. We'll put him in the regrettable hookup category. He's a, he just seems like a dad, like a dad. Yeah. Okay. Rebecca. Ooh, Rebecca. Ooh, Rebecca. Ooh, Rebecca. Okay. Rebecca. Hmm. Hmm. So. Rebecca was the second wife of Abraham. Right? Second wife? And yeah, true gay fesh. If you'd indenture yourself for 14 years for Rebecca, it's got to be fire pussy. True. Absolutely true. That means Rebecca is our first awuga.
Yep, we gotta put Rebecca in a Wooga tier. We have to put her in a Wooga tier. You're right. That is an uh, almost unarguable. Like, 14 fucking years of labor? Yeah, but- and doesn't she get- and wait a second. Wait a second. Doesn't she also, like- Wait, hold on a second. I'm trying to remember everything. It's been so long. Let's see here. I, I'm gonna have- I'm having Wikipedia open on, uh, on, on, like, quick dial so I can remember all the details. There's gonna be a lot of these that I do remember and some that I don't. Okay, cool. I'm confusing her with Rachel? Am I? Am I confusing her with Rachel? Oh, 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 whoops, I'm getting her mixed up with Rachel. Rebecca and Rachel. Yeah, hold on. Rachel was who I was thinking of. You're right, you're right, you're right. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Yes, Rachel is the, is the Awuga tier. Sorry, we have to put Rachel in the Awuga tier. Rebecca is not the one we were thinking of. We were thinking of Rachel. Where's Rachel here? Where's Rachel? It's Rebecca, Aaron, Rahab, Deborah, Ruth, Hannah, Eve, Nehemiah. Where the fuck's Rachel? Did they leave her off here? Is she not in here? What the fuck? She's not in here. They forgot her. Okay, so then let me refresh my mind on Rebecca. Okay, let's see. Huh. Just just catching up on this real quick. Oh yeah, wait a minute. She helped Isaac. Oh yeah, wait a second. Okay, so she still goes a Wooga tier. Rebecca still goes a Wooga tier because Rebecca was the mastermind who came up with the idea to trick uh, to trick Isaac into giving the the um, the inheritance to Jacob, fucking based, fucking based. Said fucking Esau is a dick bag. Let's give it to Jacob instead. Here, put this hair on your arm. Okay, cool. Wait, Rebecca. Yeah, Rebecca was the one who told Jacob to lie to e lie, lie to Isaac. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, next, Joseph. Joseph. Fucking a wooga tier, okay? Fucking a wooga tier. You know it. You know Joseph gets a wooga tier. That motherfucker's got the drip. Joseph, the many colored coat. The guy who fucking literally he he got sold into slavery and he was such a badass motherfucker that the that the that the leader, Nebuchadnezzar, was just like, You're so cool, I want you to be my right hand man. He was like, he's like cleaning dishes, and he's just like, I'm so fucking smart, and he was ranting, and Nebuchadnezzar's just like, dude, what the fuck? This dishwasher guy is like smart as shit! Holy shit. Joseph Pog. Was it Pharaoh? I thought it was Nebuchadnezzar. Pharaoh? What, are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was Nebuchadnezzar. Hold on, hold on. We'll look it up real quick. Ah, we'll clear this up. It was Ramses. Was it Ramses? Oh, it was. Okay, it was. Sorry, you were right. Yes, it was. Okay, you were right. Ooh, but that's why. Ooh, 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 ooh. But then they ended. Then the Jews ended up in Egypt because of him. Hmm. Okay, but still, a wugatir. Still, just very. He he can he can bang. You know it. You know it. He had. Okay. How? Listen. Let's let's have. Hold on a second. Even though that was unpog. I want I want to just take a second one one quick second because what's the real reason that he became the vizier? 
we all know the real reason why he became the vizier. It's because he could lay damn good pipe on Pharaoh. Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? All right, next. Moses. Guys. I'm gonna have to tell you. Moses just gets a wood. Okay? Moses just got a wood. Okay? Now. I would bump Moses up. Okay? But. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. No. I think he just stays at wood. Because when he was young, he was hot as fuck. Okay? Let's be real. Um... Moses was hot as fuck when he was young. He 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 was like awesome to Zipporah, which was cool. Uh he he's like he's kind to animals. Um he like fought his own brother. He had a really interesting life. But when he got older, he became super super emotional and like pissy. Yeah, I'm thinking of Moses from Prince of Egypt. Well, Moses in Prince of Egypt would be an Awuga tier. But the problem is, is that, um, is that we're talking about, we're talking about the overall, the overall Moses thing. And I want you to remember that there was a point in Moses' later life where he literally made a mountain of foreskins. And I gotta say, that's pretty fucking weird. That's a very weird thing to do. So I feel like, um, I feel like Moses in his early life was... Yeah, that actually happened. Uh, they cut off so many foreskins that there was a mountain of foreskins. That's in the Bible. That's a real thing in the Bible. Yeah. So, um, as much I, as I can, uh, as much as I can respect young Moses, I feel like he really lost it in his old age. He got really obsessed with cutting people's foreskins off. Um, he lost his cool. He, he didn't, li he stopped listening to God. Yeah. But he had some cool stuff. So we would put him in the wood category. I can't put him much lower than that. He just fell off real hard later on in life. But but he would have been a catch when he was young. Just, you know, it fucking sucks. It, it, it sucks if you, like, marry, if you marry, like, hot and sexy Moses when, you, when he's young. And then he just kind of becomes an asshole when he's older. Was it Joshua with the foreskins? I don't think it was. Was it Joshua? Maybe it was. I'm pretty sure it was Moses. Okay, next. Oh, I, not everyone made the foreskin mountain thing. There was a lot of foreskin things. But let's continue, okay? Let's continue. All right, ready? Pharaoh, okay? You know it. You know Pharaoh's going in the who mama tier, okay? Pharaoh, evil bastard, but a total bad boy. You all, we all know it wasn't Pharaoh's fault. It says in the Bible that God hardened Pharaoh's heart sorry um his heart his heart was hardened um pharaoh was a slave master which is really not cool but it's not his fault again remember god admitted that he manipulated pharaoh's emotions which isn't fair so we can't really hold that against him and other than that pharaoh was pretty fucking cool like uh you know he did the best he could and also, he's a pharaoh, which means he's a literal god. Well, but the slave-owning thing was like, it, God tampered with his emotions. You really can't hold the slave-owning thing against him. Because God literally implanted emotions in his heart. That's fucked. And then his son got killed. Think about this. Pharaoh was being puppeteered by God, and God killed his son. His beloved son, which it was very clear that he loved his son. And he st and Pharaoh still kept being a good king. So, yeah. Alright. Alright. Next. Aaron. Aaron? Hmm. You know, Aaron's pretty based. Am I misremembering correctly? Hold on a second. One minute. Hold on a second.
Hold on just a second. He died on Mount Hor. Wow. Yes! Okay, I'm, I'm remembering correctly. I am remembering correctly. Aaron was the real deal. So Moses couldn't speak for shit. So Moses would get nervous every time he had to go talk to people. And Aaron was the one who did all the talking. Which means you know that, that, uh, that Aaron was like super fucking good and charismatic which means we got to give Aaron the who mama tier because if 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 Moses is in a wood tier and Aaron also has the uh also has the um uh the the, the charisma factor but also keep in mind yeah he was the giga chad live streamer that's actually true though that's like actually true um and even oh and he was a high priest yeah sorry aaron is absolutely in the humama tier so we got that that is just that is just bam yeah he's the hassan of biblical times now he's made some stupid decisions you know he uh he made the golden calf but they got mad at him and they made him do it so yeah yeah he's a high priest so okay so Joshua was the Battle of Jericho guy, right? Yep. Hosea. And then he became Joshua. Spies of Israel spied on Canaan. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So Joshua was the the guy who killed everybody at Jericho. But why did they need why why did they have to kill Jericho? Wasn't Jericho just like in like vaguely in the way? Ooh, listen to this. Excavation at Tel Es Sultan the biblical Jericho have failed to substantiate this story. This story has its origins in the nationalist propaganda of later kings of Judah and their claims to the territory of the kingdom of Israel. Ooh, the fall of Jericho invented out of whole cloth. Ooh, jo Ooh Joshua, bruh moment. That's a bruh moment. We're giving him, we're giving Joshua the bruh tier. So he's just a, a, a liar who didn't actually do anything and just basically was a was a fucking snitch. Snitch, bruh tier. Bruh. Bruh. Fucking bruh. All right. Uh Rahab. Wait, I think I remember Rahab. I remember Wait, is this who I'm thinking of? Yeah, hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I know who this is. Wait a second. Hold on a second. She was a prostitute who betrayed the Jericho people. Oh wait, she was a cult a she was a religious prostitute. And she fucked Joshua and then sold out the people. She saved her family. See, she did save her family. Okay, hold on a second. I can res I can respect this, okay? Because I don't give a fucking shit about Jericho. You know? Who gives a shit? She took care of her family. She saw these god motherfuckers were coming in. And she was like, oh, I see. You guys have got god power on your side. We're gonna get fucked. And so she's like, I'll fuck this spy. And that will make him give a good word to god. And it, and it worked. And it fucking worked. It fucking worked. She saved her family. It says right fucking here. I remember this. She saved her family. 
She fucked a spy. Oh, and the spy, Joshua, was the spy that she fucked. And Joshua fucking, he wasn't supposed to sleep with her, but he was just like, oh, no, no worries, bro. Just don't worry about it. Okay, we're going to put her in, we're going to put Rahab in a who mama category because that's pretty hot. I think it's cool to save your family. Yeah, but who cares? Like, she, she's fucked all kinds of people. Yeah, he got played. She played God. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Okay, Deborah. I barely remember Deborah. Or do I? Maybe I do remember Deborah. Book of Judges. Prophetess of God. A judge. A fiery woman. Ooh. Oh, she fucking... She got... She started a war. I barely remember this character, honestly. She prophesied a war that got a lot of shit done. So that's kind of cool. All right, we'll put her in the wood category. I can I can get behind a fucking a judge and a prophet. Judges are cool. Judges aren't technically cops. So, yeah. All right. Gideon. Gideon. Wait, I remember this guy. This is the guy with the water bowls, right? This is the water bowls guy, right? Or was that da or was that a David story? Starting wars is pretty cringe, but she it was a prophesied war. It was going to happen anyway. She just told her people how to win. Oh, this is the be not afraid guy. That's right. This is be not afraid guy. This is the one that the devil was I mean the the angels were like be not afraid. Relay is reckless. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so very much. Welcome, everybody. Come on over to the website, demonmama.com forward slash live. You can get all the emotes for free. Come on over. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for the raid, Re Relay is Reckless. Thank you so much. Okay, he did a night attack. Shofars. Oh, he did a pretty cool one. All right. All right. There was peace in Israel for 40 years during the life of Gideon. As soon as Gideon died of old age, the Israelites turned to worship the false god Baal. And they ignored his family. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That puts him at least in the wood category. Okay. I think we're going to put Gideon in the wood category. He's kind of boring. But 40 years of peace is a, a serious... Uh, is, a, is like a serious deal. 40 years of peace is fucking serious. You know? There's a good reason for them saying what? Them saying what? Be not afraid? Oh. Alright. Okay. Alright. Next. Yeah. True form angels. Alright. Samson. Guys. I'm sorry. I know. I know, I know, this is gonna be unpopular. This is gonna be super. Oh, uh, those are the Wuga tier. Uh, just end this. Can we end this poll? How do we end a poll? How do you end a poll early? It's number one. It's one. It's simple. It's one. It's it's number one. You don't even need to do a poll on that. I'll just uh, executive order. Who people who said bruh should probably find a new stream to watch. If you wouldn't, if you wouldn't fuck uh, a true form angel, you are just, you just don't, you're not living your life to, to its fullest. If you're telling me, if you're telling me, I'm sorry, hold on a second. If you're telling me that a, an angel reveals its true form to you and you're just like, eh, what, what type of life are you, Jade Monkey, you don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that they don't have genitals. Even if it looks like a wheel, that could be their genital. Okay? Maybe they fuck with their eyeballs. 
Who knows? I you would I would never turn it down, even if it killed me. Even if it killed me. If an angel appeared right next to me and was like, yo, you want some fuck? I'd be like, let's fucking do it. I mean, once in a lifetime opportunity. 100%. 100%. Yes, and we know the Nephilim were offspring of angels and women. Or of, a of angels and humans. Yep, good way to die. Yep, okay. Samson. Guys, I know, I know this is not going to be popular. I know we're not going to have a lot of fun with the Samson here. But I'm sorry. Samson fucking unfuckable unfuckable samson unfuckable dude doesn't cut his hair dude doesn't fucking wash himself smells like shit acts like shit emotionally immature uh put got himself put in jail for the stupidest reason imaginable just because he was being a stupid dumb shit i mean his only cool moment was at the end and that was when he, God was like, all right, buddy, here, have some fun. And gave him a donkey jaw, and then he fucked everything up. Yeah. Nah. That was all his fault. That was all his, yeah, born to shit, forced to wipe. That's his attitude. Absolutely. Yeah. Nah, Samson. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Unfuckable. Unfuckable. All right, next. Ruth. All right, Ruth has a book in the Bible devoted to her. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Boaz. Okay, Ruth, a Wugatir. Yep, this is the one I was thinking of. Ruth, a Wugatir. 100% a Wugatir. Ruth is so... She's so pog that she literally wins the love of a king. Because she's so pog. She's so kind that the king is like, Oh my God, I need to marry this woman. And she's not even an Israelite. She's not even, like, back at that time, they were super like, nuh-uh, you, you marry Israelites. And she is one, she's literally not an Israelite. And the king of Israel was like, I need this woman to be my wife. I need. That's how awesome she is. She has a whole book in the Bible. A woman has a book in the Bible. You know how rare that is? You know how fucking rare that is? She's like, so hot. So fucking hot. Ruth's kindness, as noted in the Book of Ruth by Boaz, is seen in the Jewish tradition as, as in a rare co contradistinction to the people of Moab and Ammon, who were noted by the Torah for their distinct lack of kindness. So she grew up, according to the Bible, she grew up in, like, the asshole kingdom, and she still wasn't an asshole. That's, that's pretty poggers. No, that's Ruth. Esther is Esther is also interesting. Esther is she was a queen. She was a Jewish queen of a Persian king. We'll get to her. We'll get to her. Okay? Hannah. Hannah's next, okay? We got to do Hannah from the Bible next. I got to remember what Hannah was. Hannah was one of the wives of Elkanah mentioned in the book of Samuel. Samuel. Okay, yeah. Samuel. She is never mentioned in the Bible. Okay. She's never actually mentioned. Oh, outside of the first two chapters. She's never mentioned. Let's see. Hannah is one of the wives of Elkanah. Uh, Elkanah preferred H Hannah, even though Hannah did not have any children. Huh. Hannah was the primary wife, but could not have children. Okay. Okay. Eh. All right, we'll do a wood. We'll do a wood. We'll do a wood for that. Yeah. I mean, she's good at it, but also, like... She doesn't really have all that much interesting things. Like, I'm reading her story here, and it's mostly just her being a wife. So she's like a husband woman. What's what's the equivalent of... What's a woman equivalent of a wife guy? All right, now we got to get to Elijah. Now we got to get up to Elijah and Samuel. 
It's a trad wife. I guess you're right. Yeah. Okay. Elijah. Elijah. So Elijah is, uh, wait, wait, this is, wait a second. This is Eli. Never mind. This is Eli. Eli, not Elisha. Let's see. Eli was the high, was the high priest of Shiloh. When Hannah came to Shiloh, Eli initially accused her of drunkenness. Nope. Nope. Bruh moment. Fuck you. Uh, fu what the fuck, dude? Uh, uh, the, the fucking queen comes to seek out your help and you call her drunk? Fuck you. Fuck this guy. He's he's a he's a bruh tier. Bruh. He raised he raised Samuel, who was a prophet. But that doesn't say anything good about him. Prophet, judge, wise leader of Israel. Very important to the Orthodox Church. He was a seer. A prophet. Wait a minute. Isn't this the guy who fucking ate the, like, bird barf or something? Or bird shit or something? Is that this guy or is that Elijah? That might have been Elijah. We'll get there. We're going to get there. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, dude. Wait, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Once Sam... Okay, so the Lord told Samuel that the wickedness of the sons of Eli had resulted in their dynasty being condemned to destruction. In the morning, Samuel was hesitant about reporting the message to his teacher, Eli. But Eli asked him honestly to recount to him what had been told by the Lord. Upon receiving the communication, Eli merely said that the Lord should do what seems right to him. All right. All right, this guy can be a regrettable hookup. Let's put Samuel as the regrettable hookup. Saul. Oh, boy. We got to talk about Saul. Oh, boy. All right. We got to talk about Saul. First king of Israel. Who boy. All right. This is going to be a big one. Okay? So this is not Saul of Tarsus. This is, this is Saul the first king. King Saul. Okay? This is King Saul. This is not, uh, this is not Paul. So, this was the guy who was blessed by Samuel and he killed himself. He killed himself to avoid being captured. So he did it. He literally did a seppuku or seppuku. Is that what it's called when you cut your guts out? Seppuku? What? Seppuku is when you cut your guts out? Yeah. Yeah, he did a seppuku. Isn't this the dude that sends Bathsheba's husband? No. That is David. Now he was, oh, he was David's dad. That's right. Okay, right. David, son of Saul. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There was a famine. God caused a famine because Saul was so bad to the Gibeonites. Because, because Saul, ooh, ordered a genocide. Ooh, first king, but genocide ordering? Literally so bad. A genocide so bad that God had to punish you? Ooh. Ooh, lots of disobedience. Ooh, damn, Saul. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm remembering a lot of this now. Okay, yeah, not a good look, king. Yeah, all right, we're going to put Saul, we're going to put Saul in the unfuckable category, okay? Sorry, really hard to do that. This guy fucks up all the time, okay? Oh, plus he threatened to kill his own son. Oh, yeah, that's fucking right. I completely forgot about that. He threatened to kill his own fucking son. He threatened to kill David. He was so mad at David for something. He threatened to, to kill him. And David had to go live in a cave for like three months, literally. Like he had to live in a fucking hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. Definitely an unfuckable category. I don't think we can put him in the bruh category because um, even though he's still a king. 
So he's unfuckable. He's not a good fuck. He's not a good personality, but he's not a bruh. Bruh is for really special. Okay? Jonathan. Jonathan. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Jonathan was Saul's son, not David. Weren't they both? Hold on a second. Am I wrong with this? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, David was his son-in-law. David was his son-in-law. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he was his son, but just son-in-law. But we gotta do... We gotta do Jonathan. So Jonathan is... Oh, Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Yes, Jonathan's the guy who shot the arrows to keep David safe. Jonathan, like, fucking loves... Jonathan fucking loved David. Oh my god, he's- I forgot he's so good. He's the- the sick archer. He's basically the Bible's Legolas. Yeah, he's David's boyfriend. Like, almost guaranteed. He didn't like his dad. Because his dad was a dickhead. His dad was abusive- oh fuck. Saul was abusive to his mother. He is the model of loyalty to truth and friendship. Ooh. Okay, Jonathan. Jonathan, we're putting you up in the who mama category. Jonathan, look at this boy. He's, he's a good archer. He's ripped. He's beautiful enough that David loved him. That's super cool. All right, Jonathan's pretty based. Yeah, no, he's got a Legolas energy for sure. Adam. Adam. Adam's got to be the regrettable hookup. You you know, it would be cool to have sex with the first human ever. But I want you to remember that he absolutely had no fucking clue how to fuck. Okay? This dude absolutely had no fucking clue how to fuck. Literally the first human ever. He was stupid as shit. Obviously had no idea what to do with his dick. Didn't even know what clothes were. Dumb shit. It's arguably- I think it- I think it's like arguably unethical to fuck Adam. Because he's like such a, uh, such a- yeah. Yeah. Plus, he had to fuck all of his own daughters in order to populate the earth. Which is pretty fucking weird if you ask me. Okay? Pretty fucking weird. Excuse me, I know there's at least a few you would fuck. I know for sure you would fuck Solomon. I know you'd fuck Solomon. I know you'd fuck Goliath as well. Don't you even try. I know it. I fucking know it's true. Wait, we're gonna get to Solomon. Well, you guys have to wait for Solomon because you know, you fucking know. You fucking know I have a lot to say about Solomon, okay? I'm gonna read you some Bible shit here from Solomon, okay? Seriously. All right, David though. All right, we got to do David. Are you ready? This is an easy one. Fucking Awugatir. Fucking Awugatir. Are you fucking kidding me? David. David. Whew. David. My God. What a what a sexy man. Okay. David is bisexual. Polly, a king, a warrior. He has a fall from grace. And a redemption arc in the Bible. Kills a giant. Yeah, he was a peeper during his during his uh, during his uh, fall from grace. So, let me tell you the story. So David saw this. He was he was hanging out. He was hanging out in his castle. Okay. Um, he's like, oh shit, and he looks out and he sees this woman who's so fucking hot. That his dick starts just throbbing. And he's like passing out because all the blood is rushing to his dick. He's like, oh my fucking god, Bathsheba. Oh my god, she's so fucking hot. His like, you know, he can't walk. His balls are exploding. And he's like, and he's like, I have to marry her. And she's like, no bitch, I love my husband. And he's like, oh, I'll fucking show you. And he's so horny that he kills, he, he sends her husband 
to go die in war. And then when she dies, he marries Bathsheba. And then he has a fucking horrible time of it. Like a horrible fucking time of it. Like uh, oh, oh, there's a whole crisis. He has to try and uh, and and work things out with with Bathsheba. He has to try and work things out with God. His friends are mad at him. Yeah, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to a chick. A kitchen chair she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips she drew the hallelujah there you go that's from the song hallelujah um jeff buckley's version yeah that's that's a biblical thing yeah so after the whole thing happened um it's it's uh it's it's fucking wild yeah so david is in the awuga tier and and get this again he had a down he had a downfall, fall from grace, and a redemption arc. Pretty fucking awesome. Alright, pretty cool. Yeah, that was a dark period. Alright, next. Goliath. Goliath. We gotta put him in the Who Mama category. Who Mama. Goliath, big boy. A big man. Nine nine feet tall or some shit. Huge dick. He was a Philistine. Uncut. But he was abusive. Um, He was abusive. He wasn't very smart. But he is a who mama category. Because, I mean, he's got a fucking giant... Yeah, he was like, I mean, it was, it was, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, King, uh, KNGK2X in, in Twitch chat says, wasn't Goliath, like, half angel? Yeah, it was believed that Goliath was a descent, was a surviving descendant of the Nephilim, which means he's half divine. Pretty wild. So, thing is, if you're into, like, the rough stuff, that's your man right there, Goliath. Now, he did get killed by a literal child, but that child had the power of God on his side, and anime. So... Still, I can't put him in the Awuga tier, but I do have to, uh, I do have to put him in the Humama tier. Okay? Alright, everybody. You know what time it is. You know what fucking time it is. Solomon. This is another easy one. Fucking Solomon. Awuga. Fucking Solomon. Oh my god, Solomon. My man, Solomon. Hold on a second. Let's just... Hold on, I'm gonna read you, okay? Ready? Listen to this. Oh my god, listen to this. This is so sexy. Are you ready? You're about to get your fucking mind blown, okay? Listen to this. I'm gonna read you the Song of Solomon, okay? Wait, let me get let me get this. Okay, this is Song of Solomon 6, also known as the Song of Songs. The Song of Solomon is a piece of of uh, uh, is a piece of um, of of poetry that is so famous and so powerful that it became known as the Song of Songs, the poem of poems. Are you ready? Listen. Where has your beloved gone, most beautiful of women? Which way did your beloved turn that we may look for him with you? My beloved has gone down to his garden to the beds of spices, to browse in the gardens and to gather lilies. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. He browses among the lilies. So she's talking there. She is talking about Solomon. Solomon is like looking at flowers and thinking. Now it's his turn. You are as beautiful as Terza, my darling, as lovely as Jerusalem, as majestic as troops with banners. Turn your eyes from me. They overwhelm me. Your hair is like a flock of goats descending from Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep coming up from a, from a wash. Each has its twin. Not one of them is missing. Your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. Sixty queens there may be, and eighty concubines, and virgins beyond number. But my dove, my perfect one, is unique. The only daughter of her mother, the favorite of the one who bore her. The young women saw her and called her blessed. The queens and concubines praised her. 
and now it's her friends. Who is this that appears like the dawn, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, majestic as the stars in procession? And then Solomon says, I went down to the grove of nut trees to look at the new growth in the valley, to see if the vines had budded or the pomegranates were in bloom. Before I realized it, my desire sent me among the royal chariots of my people. So wait, let, I, let's, let's just get a replay of that. In verse 12, before he could realize it, my desire set me among the royal chariots of his people. He was down, he was walking and looking at pomegranates, seeing if they were fresh. And he got so horny thinking about his wife that he was like, I need to go hang out with the chair. I need to go fucking ride my chariot because he was so horny. Okay, let's continue. Come back, come back, O Shulamite. Come back, come back that we may gaze upon you. Why would you gaze upon the Shulamite as on the dance of the Mahanaim? Next. Listen to this. Ready? Get ready. Get fucking ready. How beautiful are your sandaled feet, O prince's daughter. Your graceful legs are like jewels, like the work of an artist's hands. Your navel is a rounded goblet that never lacks blended wine. Your waist is a mound of wheat encircled by lilies. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle. Your neck is like an ivory tower. Your eyes are the pools of Heshbon by the gate of Bath Rabim. Your nose is like the tower of Lebanon looking towards Damascus. Your head crowns you like Mount Carmel. Your hair is like a royal tapestry. The king is held captive by its tresses. How beautiful you are and how pleasing, my love, with your delights. Your stature is like that of the palm and your breasts are like the clusters of pomegranates. I said, I will take, I will climb the palm tree. I will take a hold of its fruit. May your breasts be like clusters of grape on the vine. The fragrance, for the fragrance of your breath like apples. And then she responds, and your mouth is like the best wine. May the wine go straight to my beloved, flowing gently over his lips and teeth. I belong to my beloved and his desire is for me. Come, my beloved, let us go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in our villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded, if their blossoms have opened, and if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and our do at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. Holy shit. Holy shit. Do you hear how she's talking about him? I feel like we need to make a tier just for fuck. I need we need to make a tier just for Solomon. Solomon gets his own tier. Solomon is so hot, it's unbelievable. This dude's just like, babe, your boobs are like fucking grapes. And then and then her, his wife is like, yeah, give me that dick. Give me that fucking dick now. And he's like. I'm gonna pick those grapes. And she's like, pick those grapes. I don't know. It's hard to argue with that. So Solomon is... Solomon was the wisest man to have ever lived. Or so it was said. He's got a big brain. He's, a, he's strong. He, he's loving. And he also had a gajillion wives. He had tons and tons of wives. And he made all of them feel special apparently yeah yeah solomon is such a chad he wrote a fucking book about fucking and they put it in the bible yeah yeah god was like what do you want buddy and he was like i want to be a gig i want my brain to be the biggest chad in the universe and god was like all right dude you get it fucking brain power and then he was like with this i will figure everything else out and he did pretty cool okay listen pretty cool all right it's gonna be hard to come back from that isn't it it's going to be hard to come back from that. We're going to have to move through these a little faster. We're getting hung up here. This is fun, though. Are we all still having fun? I'm having fun. This is fun as fuck. Fuck yeah. All right, let's continue. All right? Elijah. 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 Oh, okay. So now I have to remember there's one thing that I've forgotten here. Is it Elijah or is it Elisha? The poo guy. The poop guy. So 
So, Elijah... Let's see here. Let me just double check. Hmm. Ooh! Listen to this. Elijah's chair. At Jewish circumcision ceremonies, a chair is set aside for the use of the prophet Elijah. Elijah is said to be a witness at all circumcisions whenever the sign of the covenant is placed upon the body of a child. He, God requires Elijah to be present at every covenant of circumcision. Let's see here. He's got a lot of these ones. Okay, but he did, he did, okay. He did own a lot of, no, no, Windleby, the baby penis inspector. That's the really weird part, okay? Oh, uh-oh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Elijah was always seen as deeply pious. It seems only natural that he would be pitted against an equally evil individual. This was found in the person of Lilith. Lilith in legend was the first wife of Adam. She rebelled against Adam, the angels, and even God, and she came to be seen as a demon and a witch. Elijah encountered Lilith and instantly recognized her. Unclean one! Where are you going? Unable to avoid or lie to the prophet, she admitted she was on her way to the house of a pregnant woman. Her intention was to kill the woman and eat the child. Elijah pronounced this his malediction. I curse you in the name of the Lord! Be silent as a stone! But Lilith was able to make a bargain. She promises to forsake her evil ways if Elijah will remove the curse. To seal the bargain, she gives Elijah her, all of her names so they can be posted in the houses of pregnant women or newborn children or used as amulet. Lilith promises, wherever I see those names, I shall run away at once. Neither the child nor the mother will ever be injured. Mm. I, I like Lilith, okay? I think Lilith is, has been very slandered. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this guy a fucking bruh. The penis inspector thing is really fucked. Uh, Elijah gets a fucking bruh moment. And you wanna know who else gets a bruh moment? Elijah. Elisha. Fuck Elisha. Okay? Elisha also is a fucking bruh. Okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. So, you might notice in this picture, Elisha is bald. Okay? Elisha is... A bald guy. So, yeah, yeah, the bears. Okay, listen, get this, everybody. So those of you who don't know the Bible, okay? There's a story where Elisha is, um... Elisha is walking to a city. And, a, and like, a huge crowd of children come out. And they're like, ha ha, you're bald. And the kids are calling him bald. And they're making fun of him for being bald. And he gets really fucking mad. He gets so mad that he... he uses his god powers to summon bears to tear the children to shreds because they called him bald that is the that is the epitome of small of like like n like no dick energy okay just literal malding yeah literal malding incel energy so bad just embarrassing oh so embarrassing also look it wouldn't have been a problem. Being bald isn't that bad, okay? It's not that bad, okay? There are plenty of cool people who are bald. But this fucker, this motherfucker killed 40 kids using God powers. He used God powers. He couldn't even kill the kids himself. That's fucking insecurity on an epic level. Sorry. Fuck Elisha. Jezebel. Ooh, Jezebel. Ooh, Jezebel! 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 Yeah, he broke frame. He broke frame to children. To be fair, if you had god powers, why would you ever kill anyone yourself? To prove how much of a chad you are? 
Oh my god. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to get horny? Are you fucking ready for this? Listen. According to the biblical narr narrative, Jezebel, along with her husband, instituted the worship of Baal and Ashereth, on our Asherah on a national scale. In addition, she purged the prophets of Yahweh from Israel, damaging the reputation of the of the dynasty. For these offenses, her her dynasty was annihilated, with Jezebel herself suffering a gruesome death of defenestration. She was so sexy and so fucking evil that she had to be thrown out a window to even stop her. 85D2D Derek, this will definitely be a segment, and thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Killing people isn't Chad, but remember, a lot of people killed people. And and in this bloody time, I gotta say, I gotta say, she fucking unseated Yahweh until she had to be thrown out a window. God had to, God literally had to throw her out a window in order to stop her from fucking up his plans. Oh, also she fucked with Elijah. Yeah, she fucked with Elijah. Oh, and he had to run for the wilderness where he had to eat doo-doo and shit. Yeah, yeah, totally justified. Sorry, Jezebel wins. Jezebel's fucking great. Je Jezebel fucked with that loser Elijah, the penis, the, the child penis toucher. Fucked. Owned. All right, Jezebel goes in the fucking Awuga tier. Oh, now we got to figure out about our husband, Ahab. Is Ahab cool? Let's find out. Is Ahab horny? Is Ahab hot? Let's find out. Her husband was a guy named Ahab. Hmm. Let's look. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, he was just a yes man. Okay. So, we'll put Ahab as the regrettable hookup because the thing is, this is Ahab is what you get when you aim for Jezebel, but you ca but you can't impress her enough, and so Ahab's like, "Well, will you fuck me instead?" That's what that's that's who Ahab. Ahab is the uh he's the uh he's the 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 sloppy seconds. So yeah, we'll put Ahab down there in the regrettable hookup. God. Oh boy, here we go. They've made us they've made us talk about God. Listen, I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with you. I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with you. We're putting God in the brut here. This motherfucker, okay? <sighs> Holy shit. God? God the Father? What a mess. Manipulative? I I irritable? Abusive? Tries to get people to sacrifice their kids? Orders people to chop their kids' penises off? Manipulated Pharaoh? Literally, literally on multiple times used demons. He used his god powers to command demons to cause shit on earth that hurt the people that he supposedly loves. God is terrible. He's the worst. He's the worst in, like, the whole Bible. Like, oh my god. Which brings us to Jesus, who's next. And Jesus... Jesus... is going in the Awuga tier. Jesus... is based. Okay? Now, listen. Pardon me. I'm gonna be... I'm just gonna... <clears throat> I'm just going to be a little bit of a Christ cuck here for a minute, okay? A shoeless magician who's obsessed with keeping his feet clean and his skin soft and his hair nice, beautiful, dueled with Satan, never, uh, 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 oh yeah, beat the shit out of shitty banker assholes, 
microtransaction people. He hates microtransactions. Uh, he is a service top 100%. A service top through and through. He's clean. He's beautiful. He heals people. He hangs out with prostitutes. He's forgiving. He's kind. And he made it possible that we don't... That, that If you believe in the Christian worldview, it was Jesus who made God chill the fuck out. Like, literally. Like, Jesus was like, God, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Dad, what the fuck are you doing? You need to chill! And God was like, yeah, you're right. What the, I, don't know what I, I don't know what got into me for all of the last 10,000 years. Jesus is 100% in the Awuga tier. 100%. Yep. He's kind of distant. He's not distant. He wanders around talking. No, he doesn't. That's the thing. He he tells parables and he explains them to people. Have you read the, the Gospels? Jesus spends all day explaining his stories to people. He's a real teacher. Jesus like actually goes and is like, Here's a cool story. Let me explain what it means. Fucking Jesus is the real deal, okay? Hey. Oh, hey, uh, Izzy. Can I have a can I have another cigarette? Thank you. Hell yeah. Hi, Yoda. Hi, Yoda. Hi, we're doing a sacrilegious tier list. You don't mind not want to be near me. I might get struck by lightning. Hopefully she won't yelp. There she goes. Hi. Look. Look who it is. Look who it is. Hi. Hold on here. We'll get we'll get we'll get Yoda up on here so we can see. Look at here. Come over on this side. Look who it is. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh I love my puppy. I love my puppy. You wanna sing? You wanna sing? You wanna sing, Yoda? Sing. Singing in the song. It's singing time. Do you want to sing, Yoda? Do you want to sing, Yoda? Do you want to sing, Yoda? Sing, Yoda. It's time to sing. Oh. Good girl, Yoda. Good girl. We love you. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. Yoda's awesome. Look at that. We had a little Yoda break. Isn't that great? Jesus said you couldn't love anyone more than him. No, no. Jesus was boasting. You see? He was like, you'll never be able to love anyone as much as you love me. That was a, that was a Chad move. He wasn't telling you you weren't allowed to. That was God that made that rule. He was just calling it. He was calling it like it is. He's like, once you fuck me, no one's going to be the same. He's not a femboy brat. He's not a brat. Well, okay. I guess from God's position, he is a bit of a brat. To everyone else, he's super nice. But his relationship with God is definitely a, a brat one. But not with anybody else. Not with anybody else. Yeah, Jesus was the real deal. He never let anyone fuck him that we know of. That we know of. They didn't talk about it in the Bible, but it might have happened. All right, next. We got to get back to this. We got to we got to get back to this. All right, everybody. We've talked about Jesus for long enough. We've gotten we've gotten sweaty for Jesus. We've gotten down on our knees for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Lone Cat. Lone Cat's got the right idea. Jesus stood up to his abusive father. That's fucking poggers. What's the deal with Jesus saying, "Father, why have you forsaken me?" Because his dad's a dickhead and made him go to hell even though it wasn't necessary. We already determined this. God is in the bruh tier for all of these reasons. Did I miss your dono? I might have. Hold on. Comrade oh, whoa. Uh oh. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Hold on. Let me check. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're doing a Bible fuckability tier list. Don't come here if you want to make it to the gates of heaven, because uh, the way I'm talking about all of this is absolutely going to get us, uh, all of us are going to hell. Or rather, I am. You can watch. 
Just don't laugh. If you laugh, you're going to hell. Wait, I don't see the dono. Where'd the dono go? Comrade, oh, whoa. I missed the dono. Where the heck is it? Hold on, let me let me get my feet up. Hold on. It's a bit weird. Hold on, let me see. Comrade, oh, whoa. I'd do a biblically accurate angel any day. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit, babe. You look like an angel. Really? True. 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 All right. Nehemiah. Ooh, Nehemiah. I remember this guy, but only vaguely. Nehemiah. Hold on, let's see. Oh, the builder guy. Oh, this was the temple builder dude. Oh, this guy. Let's see. Appearing in the queen's presence may indicate that he was a eunuch. And in the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Bible, he is described as a eunuch. He he enforced debt cancellations, but he also ooh ooh uh oh he also enforced the divorce of Jewish men from their non-Jewish wives. Ooh, dude, dude, not cool. Hmm. Bildad the shoe height. Yeah. Mm, not a good luck, dude. Weird ethno statey shit. All right. We're going to put we're going to put him in the regrettable hookups because let's be real. A guy who can build an entire temple district in 70 days is pretty pog. And he did do that. He did build a, a giant temple district, which is pretty cool. But this guy is also a weird ethno stater. And I don't think that's cool. So he would be the regrettable fuck. He probably fucks pretty good. He's probably nice and tender. But if he finds out. And he's a eunuch, which means, you know, he's got that non-binary energy. He's probably got soft hands. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll put him in the regrettable hookup. Eve. Eve is next. We got to do Eve next. All right. Eve. Eve likes to live on the wild side. She did eat the apple from a snake. She's a, she's a scaly... Because she was seduced by the snake, which is pretty cool. So she definitely knows a little more about sex than Adam. She was made out of a rib. And wait, wait, but hold on a second. You all are weird champing that. But think about this. She, she started from a rib and look at where she got to. That's a real, that's a real glow up. Rib to 900 year old woman who was the progenitor of most of the planet. And remember, she had, like, literally hundreds of children. And that was after she was cursed to have pain from childbirth. So she's way more badass than Adam. Because she has had to have painful childbirth, like, hundreds of times and still did it anyway. She stole knowledge from God. Uh, she wasn't scared of the snake. Which means she's probably not scared of any type of snake. Even a one-eyed with snake. I think what I'm going to do, I think we're going to put Eve in the wood category. I think we're going to put her in the wood category. Yeah. Yeah, Eve gets a wood. Uh, Eve is probably just great to have sex with. Probably very nurturing, very kind. Not quite to the who mama category, you know, because she is still just a first human. So she probably doesn't know sex very well. She's probably pretty vanilla. But she does have a little bit of edge. She's she's got that scaly thing. She keeps it in the closet, but you know. She was not into femmes. Eh, maybe. Esther. All right, we got to talk about Esther. 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 Okay, Esther is the one who was the uh Persian king's wife. Ooh, wow, that's a nice art of her. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Damn, Esther's Esther a cutie. 
Damn, Esther kind of a cutie. She's cute. Damn. She had a harem? That's cool. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh, listen to this. Esther is taken to a palace where Haggai prepares her to meet the king. Even as she advances to the highest position of the king's harem, perfumed with myrrh and allocated certain foods and servants, she is under strict con instructions to conceal her Jewish origins. The king falls in love with her and makes her a queen. So, oh, she pulled a fucking, a dick-ass king. She fucking tricked the dick-ass king. And she was also just, like, the best in the harem. Wow. 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 That's pretty impressive. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Look at this little snapshot. Oh, I gotta save this. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh my god! Thank you for snapping this! This is a sweet photo! Jesus is your problematic fave? Yeah, I don't even think Jesus is a problematic fave. Jesus is just pretty cool. You want some? There you go. Jesus is just pretty cool. Look at this. Oh my god, I gotta save this thing. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta save this. Hold on, one second. Um... Where did I put this in here? Here, we go to my Abbey and cover art. Here we go, bam. Bada boom. No, don't name it that. Yodi. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. All right, saved. Excellent. Yeah, Jesus is fine. He's not really a problematic fave. He's just pretty good. You stand by my position that Jesus talks about weird shit and calls his friends idiots for not getting it? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. Incorrect. That is not the record. You are- that is a lie. You, sir, are a liar. You are a liar. Besmirching the good name of our Lord. Yeah, but he chastised- he chastised capitalists with a whip. Would Jesus smoke weed? 100%. You know- wait a minute. Jesus is the creator of the universe. He fucking- you know that God was like- God was like, all right, we're almost done with creation. And Jesus was like, dude, this, this creation is boring as shit. Here, can I add a few things? And then God was like, all right, whatever, fine, add some stuff. And Jesus was like, alcohol, weed, boners, uh, uh, 69ing, uh, fucking, the, 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 pro the prostate. You know that was Jesus. You know it was fucking Jesus. You know it was. You know God didn't put any of that shit around. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely added magic mushrooms. He definitely was the one who added all the flavor to the world. It wasn't God. God's boring as fuck. God just wants to be worshipped and that's it. Yeah. They should rename the G-spot to the J-spot. True! Yep. God created the dish, but Jesus, Jesus seasoned it. True, Satanarchy. You know it. You know it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, wait. Okay, so now we got it. Now, I was distracted by people besmirching the good name of our Lord. But Esther, okay? Esther? Listen. Esther? We're gonna put Esther up in the Awuga tier. I think Esther's hot. Raised, ro like, she was so hot that she rose to the top of an entire harem and she tricked a bad king into giving power back to the Jews. I don't know, I think that's pretty based. You're surprised we've gone as far down this tunnel? A socialist maker, I grew up in, like, a Christian cult. Like, hardcore. Of course we're gonna go that far in. Stopped a genocide? Yep. Esther's pretty fucking poggers. 
All right. Mordecai. Mordecai. Mordecai was Esther's dad, right? Wasn't Mordecai Esther's dad? Or something? Mordecai? Oh, I'm only getting regular show. Let's say here. Let's see. No, he just looked after her. So he protected his king, which is pretty pog, even if the king was kind of an asshole. Mordecai was the one who helped and looked after king Queen Esther. Mordecai? Ooh, Mordecai. Okay, Mordecai? Mordecai, we're getting you in the who mama category. Mordecai, not as hot as Esther, because Mordecai was still kind of working with the king, but he did look out for Esther. He took care of her, and he saved people from a genocide. That's pretty great. That's that's pretty damn good. I think that's good. Yeah. I think Mordecai could, could get it. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be in the Who Mama. That's a good personality. Plus, he was the right-hand man of the king. He oversaw the harem, which means... Come on. You know he was you know he got special privileges to the harem. <laughs> Le Leaf stream says, "Pussy so tight you let her people go." Yeah, true. True. Haman, fuck this guy. Haman, fucking loser. That was Esther's that was Esther's the ki the shitty king. This guy goes in the unfuckable category. Fuck Haman. What a loser. What a fucking loser. Job is a beta simp? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh, right. Haman was the advisor. Fuck Haman. Mordecai didn't listen to Haman. Fuck Haman. Fuck Haman. Fawn, would you get me a glass of ice water? Thank you. It's a requirement on on, Pur, on Pur, Purim to boo him every year. You feel so down. Why do you feel down? Have fun with us. Have fun with us, Sailor MGC. We're having fun here. All right, everybody. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Job. All right, everybody. Here we go. I want you to predict what you think, Job. Here we go. Vote. Vote. Wrong. You're all wrong. Job? A wooga. A wooga tier. Job is 100% a wooga tier. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Yep. Yeah, nobody voted a wooga because you're all dumb. But it's okay. I, I'm helping you. This is why I'm the mama and you are the imps. Okay? I'm going to explain to you why. Job, okay? Just wait. Just wait, okay? Listen. Job went through literal fucking hell for no reason. Because God and Satan had a fucking gamble. Job was not God cucked, okay? Job didn't know what the fuck was going on. Job had been taught his whole life to worship God. God rewarded him his entire life. Like, it explicitly says... That God rewarded Job his entire life. Job had every single reason to believe that God would continue treating him well. And guess what? God fucked him over. God fucked him over! This is why we have God in the brut here. Okay? This is why we have God in the brut here. Job 
like a fucking Chad, endured everything under the assumption that it was Satan who was fucking him up, when really, it was God. It was fucking God. And Job was acting on the best knowledge he could until finally, he finally got pissed. Do you all remember what it was that God, did, did you know? Wait, wait, hold on. Did you all fucking know that God literally punished Job when Job, yeah, he did learn it was God eventually. And when it was, when he found out it was God, he was like, God, what the fuck? He was like, why would you do this to me, God? And he confronted God and God punished him for confronting him after all of that abuse, after God lied to him, gambled with his wives and kids. He stood up to God and God slapped him in the face for it. And he still kept going. And he ended up keeping his faith after because he was more forgiving than God was. Job is a Chad. And I also want you to remember that Job, let me, let me tell you this. Hold on. We're going to get there. Okay. Job, uh, Job was, uh, was cursed with boils all over his body. So this guy had fucking pustules all over his body. And in the book of Job, it was said that he used a sharp rock to scrape them off. He lanced his own wounds, his own infected God in... Now, the, remember, these were divine wounds. He wasn't sick. There was nothing he could do to cure them. So all he had to do was lance them with a sharp rock because he had nothing left. He Everything was taken from him by God. His house, his kids, his wife, everything. He was a bum who was lancing his own wounds to keep himself alive with a stone. That is fucking badass. You don't, you, you fucking don't. Yeah, he lived by the words don't die. I almost want to put him up there with Solomon. Like he's that good. And think about this. Now look, not everybody's into this, but if you had to, if you had to spend like a year of your life, like cutting wounds out of your body, this guy's probably got scars all over his body. This guy is probably like, He's probably, like, got scars all over him. He's got that... You touch his skin, and it's like you can feel all of the scars. But you but you know that it was came from a good place. You, like, he, you, you feel his story when you're holding him in bed. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Plus, let's be real. With all that shit that he went through, dude's probably got a serious masochism thing. Which, hey... I'm more than happy to indulge. What are you, what are you doing? I'm still in the house. Why are you saying hi right now? <clears throat> yeah, all right. I'm putting him with Solomon. He gets to hang out with Solomon. That means we have to change this. Solomon and Job tier. Solomon and Job. Look at that. I didn't think we were going to get one up there, but Job is up there. The thing is that Job doesn't have the, like, grace of Solomon, but Solomon also didn't have to deal with the shit that Job did. Job is, like, legit, though. Oh, what the fuck? Yep. All right. We got to keep going, though. We're not done yet. Isaiah. Hmm. Isaiah, the prophet. Let's see. He is a prophet. Let's remember Isaiah's story. Hey, no problem, Sailor MGC. I hope you start feeling better. You just moved country? Holy moly, that's really major. Well, I'm glad that we're here to keep you entertained. I hope you start feeling better. Sailor MGC, consider coming and hanging out by the website. There's a lot more people chatting over on the website. I bet you'd have a lot of fun. Uh, DemonMama.com forward slash live. I understand if you can't, but figured I'd shoot the invite anyway. Hey, see you later, Whaley. All right. Hmm. Eh. 
He got killed. Hmm. He's more of an evangelist than a prophet. Hmm. Well, listen to this, though. This is kind of interesting. The prophet Isaiah knew more perfectly than all the others the mystery of the religion of the gospel. He was more of an evangelist because he described the mysteries of the church of Christ so vividly that you would assume he was not prophesying about the future, but rather that he was composing a history of past events thousands of years before they happened. Huh. That's interesting. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, this is a tough one. He got assassinated. He got saw he got sawed in half. Okay, that's a badass way to die. Ooh. Ooh. He got sawed in half. That's a badass way to die. That's like a that's like a proper martyrdom there. Ooh. He broke he broke the one rule, do not fucking die, but we all do eventually. We all break the rule eventually. Just got to make it last, and that's a pretty fucking damn good way to go out. I mean, horrible. But yeah, he got gl he had to be glory killed. He also s he saw the face of God, which is pretty incredible. You know, damn Isaiah, I think we're gonna put him in a wood category. I don't. I think he's the is he the first prophet that actually made it above regrettable hookup? No, Moses. Moses wasn't really a prophet though. Damn, he's the first prophet. He's the first prophet that has made it beyond the beyond the regrettable hookup category. Okay, I'm here for it. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah was a bullfrog, right? He was a frog? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's let's remember let's refresh our memory on Jeremiah. The weeping prophet. Ooh, so he's got a sensitive side. Okay. Got a sensitive side. He was a prophet during the fall of Jerusalem. Wow. That's hard. Oh yeah, that's right. He was the one who wrote Lamentations cuz he was sad. Oh, dude. Oh, this is so sad. Look at him, though. Wow, he's kind of a cutie. Wow, look at Jeremiah. Jeremiah's kind of a cutie. He's kind of a cutie. Yeah, he's kind of cute. Hey, thank you, Lucid Days. Don't you? No need for forgiveness. Thank you. Forty years of preaching and nobody listened to him. That's devotion. So he's got devotion. He's got a sensitive side. He's a cutie. Many people tried to kill him because of his prophecies. Hmm. Oh, that's so fucked. They put it, they threw him into a well. But they couldn't kill him. They threw him into a well and he just refused to die. And then some random person fished him out. Wow. Ooh. So, ooh. Wow, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. The prophet Jeremiah has made it to the fucking who mama. Lucid days. We are doing the Bible fuckability tier list. And I am definitely going to save this one when we're done with this one. Yep. Ugh. All right. Yeah. 
We're going to put them in the Who Mama category. So we had two profits in a row. As we've discovered, as the later that you go on in time, the more interesting the profits get. The old profits sh fucking suck. The new profits, they're pretty cool. They're pretty fucking cool. Now we're getting to Daniel. Now, I happen to know a cool little thing about Daniel. All right, we got to talk about Daniel. Now, Daniel. Daniel killed a dragon, my friends. Daniel fucking killed a dragon. Which is pretty wild. And he also stayed in a lion's den. Wow, Daniel. Damn, look at this dude. Look at how base this is. Look at him. There he is. He's trapped in here with all these lions. And the lions are just fucking chilling. They're like, we're not going to touch you, dude. We respect you. Imagine getting thrown into a lion's den. And the lions are just like, wow, you're fucking cool, bro. And he also killed a dragon. Which is pretty fucking nuts. I don't know, guys. Daniel. I don't know, Daniel. Ooh. Plus, Dan is like a kind of cool name, right? A lot of people have been named Dan. A lot of cool people have been named Dan. Danny DeVito? Named after that named after him? Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look here. We got any more pictures of him? Ooh, look at this! Chad move! Look at this! Daniel refusing to eat the king's food. He's like, nah, I don't want any part of this shit. Don't give me that shit. The king's like, here, have some nice food, dude. And he's like, I don't want it. That's a Chad move. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that shows that shows he's got he's got chutzpah. He served Darius, the Persian king. Oh my god, and listen to this. Daniel is troubled to read in holy scripture that Jerusalem would be desolate for 70 years. So he listened to Jeremiah. So Daniel was one of the only people who actually listened to Jeremiah. He repents on behalf of all of the Jews and requests that Jerusalem and its people are restored. Wow. Impressive. Whoa, listen to this. The tale of Susanna. I forgot about the story of Susanna. The tale of Susanna. I remember it now. Daniel saves the reputation of a young Jewish married woman when two lecherous elders condemn her to death for unchastity. But actually, they were condemning her to death because she resisted their advances. Daniel's clever cross-examination unmasks their evil. And then he killed a dragon. Wow. Did I say ch chutzpah? Did I say it wrong? Chutzpah? Sorry if I said it wrong. But it's true. He's got chutzpah. Schutz, schutzpah? I can't... Schutz, schutzpah? Schutzpah? There you go. Hey, Hannah Banana MCCCX11. Chutzpah? I, uh, I didn't do the ch. Chutzpah. Chutzpah. Yeah, I gotta do the ch. There you go. The chutzpah. All right. Daniel? Daniel? Oh, shut the fuck up. I hate it when I hate it when you all make fun of my pronunciation. I try! I try! Chutzpah. There we go. This is a form of gaming. This is a game. This is a game. But listen, Daniel Awugatir. Look, look, sorry. Oh, Daniel Awugatir gets along with killed a dragon, gets along with lions. Saved a woman who from getting raped. D dude, what the fuck? Daniel is Pog. Daniel is an Awuga. He would be a fucking... You know this guy is, is, is a fucking good lay. This dude is a, a lover of lovers. Sensitive and kind. This is, yes, this is the, bi this is the Bible fuck, uh, the Bible fuck tier list. Yeah. Yep, this is the one. Welcome, by the way, Hannah Banana. Everybody, give a hug. Uh, give a little hug emote to Hannah Banana, who's catching uh, their first stream right now. 
Well, Hobo Sapiens, you could always go watch Paint Dry if you want. All right, next. Next. Nebuchadnezzar. Mm, old Nezzy. Oh, here we go with Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, let's get some hugs. Can we get some hugs in chat for Sailor underscore MGC? Sailor MGC. Everybody, can we get some hugs in chat for Sailor MGC as well? There you go. There we go. Hugs for Sailor. Come on, everybody. Give some hugs in there. Sailor's in the uh, Twitch chat, but give some hugs. There you go, Sailor. There's some hugs for you. Demon Doggo, why are you mad at yourself? Don't be mad at yourself. No need to be mad. It's a Sunday night, and we're, we're committing great sacrilege. There's no reason to be mad at yourself. I'm going to hell, not you. All right, Nebuchadnezzar, listen. Uh... Well, this is a bad sign. So, this is the si this is the first image that comes up when you search Nebuchadnezzar, which um that makes me a little worried. Uh oh. Look, I remember Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar's the dude who goes fucking nuts, right? Doesn't he like literally go crazy and become a beast for a while? And like shit all over himself and stuff? Oh, but then he later got the title the Destroyer of Nations. The biblical book of Jeremiah paints Nebuchadnezzar as a cruel enemy, but also God's appointed ruler of the world, a divine instrument to punish disobedience. Ooh. He was remembered as a great builder king. Oh, he Oh wait, Nebuchadnezzar built the built the hanging gardens, didn't he? Uh, in the story? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. All right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. The bunny, the bunny. Ooh, I love the bunny. Listen, he sucked. Okay, I will say that the VeggieTales version of Nebuchadnezzar was really lame. Nezzy from from uh, from VeggieTales, lame. He was just a shitty boss. In this, I mean, listen to this. Do you think this sounds just like a boss? Listen to this shit. Hold on a second. You think this just sounds like your fucking manager? In the in in the VeggieTales, they made him into basic. He, he was he was the manager of the fucking bunny, uh, the chocolate bunny factory. However, listen to this though, like that description. The biblical book of Jeremiah paints Nebuchadnezzar as a cruel enemy, but also as God's appointed ruler, a divine instrument to punish disobedience. That's kind of cool. Okay? It's bad. And yeah, God had to turn him into a beast because he was smart. Hmm. All right. We're going to put we're going to put we're going to put Nebuchadnezzar in the wood category. Okay? Cuz he's mean. He's bad. But being a divine instrument that punishes disobedience, that's, that is not for me, but I know some of you motherfuckers out here would love that shit. So we're going to put that in a wood, okay? We're going to put that in a wood. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Murder Birder. Yeah, see, Murder Birder, you're, we're, we're thinking the same thing. The Nebuchadnezzar was also the name of Morpheus' ship. Yes, it was. All right, all right, here we go. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, three for one. Now, these guys were inseparable, okay? Literally, fucking, they were, they were, they were inseparable, okay? And I want you to remember that these guys, they got thrown in a fire and they didn't burn. 
they got thrown in a fucking they got thrown in a literal torture fire furnace and didn't burn and they and it was so and people didn't believe that it happened and so they were like go smell their clothes and it smelled like fire and it was like oh fuck these guys really were in the furnace it smells like the fucking furnace and they were like yeah we didn't they were just fucking making out in the furnace They were Daniel's, yeah, they were Daniel's friends. I don't know. A three for one deal. The only thing though, hold on though, one problem. I don't think we can put them in a Wooga tier. And let me explain why. I'm going to explain why we can't put them in the Awuga tier, okay? I'm definitely going to put them in the Humama tier. They've definitely made it to Humama, but they can't go into Awuga. And here's the reason why. Because it's very clear they love each other more than they're ever going to love anybody else. So if this is the fuck tier list, you're not getting in on that. Not really. They, they went through literal hell together. It's just not happening. And it's nothing personal. It's not that they don't like you. It's just that, you know, they got a bond. And I respect that. But it just means we can't put them in the Awuga tier. Yeah. Yes, yes indeed, Babinska. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we are we are doing a uh, a sacrilegious biblical fuckability tier. If you can get in with the bond. Yeah, if you could, it would be incredible. But I just don't think that it's like I just don't think that it's like uh gonna happen, you know? I just I just don't think it's believable. Discordianic arrest with the 200 bits. Thank you so much. My last bits to the mama. Today is the time to listen to mama. I hope you're not stopping anytime soon. Uh, probably not anytime soon. I'm probably going to go for a bit longer. We're going to finish this, play a little more games. Yeah. Oh, we'll get to Joseph. We'll get to, we'll get to Joseph. All right. Next. Hannah Banana, the video about the story of your cult experience has made me cry and gave me a lot to think about. I'm glad you make content. You're doing better now. Rule number one, don't fucking die. I follow my own rule as much as anyone else. I have to keep fighting. Thank you very much. I don't know how to say that, Rhodes, but you should send that to me and I'll try and remember it. Thank you so much, Discordian Discordianic Arrest with the 200 bits. Thank you so very much. Are we going to do giveaways? We might do some giveaways. Uh, I've been a little distracted tonight. Maybe we'll do giveaways uh, later later in the week. Um, <clears throat> we've been we've been spending a lot of time away from the game. Hold on. Let's get back to the tier list. Tier list, tier list, tier list, tier list. All right. Ready? Jonah. We got to talk about Jonah. Okay? Jonah. Now, Jonah. Jonah. So, Jonah's a bit of a coward, you know? He, he, Jonah was told by God to go prophesy the destruction of Nineveh. However... He was scared of it. And then he was swallowed by a giant fish. And then he spent a whole bunch of time inside the giant fish. And then he was like, fine, I'll go. So he got kind of forced into it by God. God, Jonah's rough. Oh, what's this? Oh, they got a song. Let's listen to it. Oh, Jonah. Oh, oh, Jonah, oh, Jonah, oh, Jonah, go down to Nineveh. Oh, the Lord, I want you go down to Nineveh. Oh, the Lord, I to go down to Nineveh. And the Lord, oh, the Lord, well, God spoke to Jonah, tell the Christian man, oh. go down to Nineveh. I command oh. he give him his order from the raw thorn. Oh. Go down to Nineveh and speak my doom. Oh. For the long day, passing by, oh. God's gonna destroy the 
by five. Oh. And Jonah didn't want to hear God's command. Oh. Bought him a ticket for the chocolate for land. Oh. Landed him a ticket and he got on board. Oh. Ship went to rocking on down the show, crying a ho, 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 Jonah. No, oh. no copyrights. Oh. oh, Jonah. Oh. All right, all right, okay, all right. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I've come to a decision, everybody. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. He was like, he went all the way over there, and he was like, he was like, yeah, I think he's going to go in the unfuckable. Because, dude, that guy smells like fucking fish. And secondly, he's such a fucking little bitch. That, like, first of all, he ran away, and then, oh, yeah, the tree! The fucking tree! Remember that? Remember when he's like, oh, I'm gonna set up here, and he used his god powers to make a tree grow so he could sit in the shade and watch Nineveh get destroyed? And then they were like, no, we're gonna, we're not gonna do it. And then he was like, what the fuck? Yeah, fuck him. Fuck Jonah. Fuck Jonah, dude. Nah, fishy motherfucker. Unfuckable. Kane. Now we gotta talk about Kane. <sighs> All right. Kane. Mm. Killed his brother. Pretty lame. But, he killed his brother because he killed his brother because God uh, kept showing favoritism to his brother. He did it to spite God. But that's pretty fucking shitty. And then afterwards, he got marked. It was envy, but like, at the same time, like, God kind of put him in a rough position, right? Yeah, nobody fucking has ever figured out why they didn't like Cain's offering. It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> he was just a fucking kid. He's literally, Cain was like the second human to ever live. It's because it wasn't meat? Well, who cares? And yeah, that's because God's a fucking asshole. Yeah, but here's the thing. So God didn't have to do him dirty like that. But Abel also didn't deserve that. You know? Like, Abel didn't deserve to get killed. Because of, uh... He didn't have to kill his brother. You know? I know what we're gonna do. Yeah, he got done dirty. That's true. Windleby is right. His story got retconned by by racists. Abel was the first human to die. How could have how could have Cain have even known what death was? Well, I presume that he was taught it, right? <clears throat> Cain be like Humphead Sassy says Cain be like call me John D cuz I'm about to rock a fella. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Abel wasn't sinless, though. There was no other sinless person. Because, uh, Abel had, uh, original sin. No one would have known. No one had died yet. Yeah, but they were, they were taught, they were taught it by eating the apple. Hmm. Alright, I got it. Alright, regrettable hookup. Cain is the regrettable hookup. It would be fucking good sex, but afterwards you're like, did I just fuck a guy who killed his brother? That's kind of fucked. So, regrettable fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Regrettable fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You know who's next. Satan. Oh, boy. Satan. 
Oh boy, Satan. Oh boy, Satan. Oh boy, Satan. Oh fuck. Oh. Wrong! Hold on a second. Wrong! Oh! Mama Hagao! Can we get some Mama Hagaos in chat? Can we get some fucking Mama Hagaos in chat, please? Are we gonna are we gonna get any ah Hagaos in chat? Come on. I gotta I gotta tell you about this though. I'm gonna justify it. It's not just because I'm Demon Mama, although in fact, I mean you could say that Satan is the reason that Demon Mama even exists. You could say that. It, it has been said. Um, after all, the name Demon Mama came from a family member calling me a servant of Satan. So, is Satan and Lucifer the same thing? Uh, we're going to, for the for the purposes of, of e easiness, yes. <clears throat> and the religion you grew up in, well, that's okay. We're talking about, we're going to get the big picture, okay? Satan is canonically the most beautiful being that has ever lived who got cast from heaven and nowhere in the Bible does it say that he stopped being beautiful. In fact, I learned growing up that he is even more beautiful. That's what makes him so good at tempting people is because Satan is so beautiful that he appears as anything um, that... Uh, it, 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 any anything that that you so desire so truly yeah satan is 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 neither male nor female so non-binary satan is just a title that means accuser yeah i know i know yes And he was, yes, he was God's favorite because he was a musician. He was heaven's musician and God liked the music. But the thing was, is that uh, Satan correctly, uh, correctly, um, uh, correctly diagnosed God with being a giant asshole. Yep, he was the mu he was the uh, he was the archangel of music and beauty, Bring and art. Satan, pog as fuck. Okay, he has to go up there. He has to be up there with Solomon and Job. Best best sex in the universe can shape shift. Uh, powers almost as strong as God. Literally, in order to listen, get this, everybody. If you read Revelation, it is God has to destroy the planet. To undo Satan. That's how powerful God is. I mean, how powerful Satan is. Satan is so powerful that he's going to make God destroy his own creation. That is... Wow. Wow. Just... Whoo! Yeah. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. But I just felt like I would justify it in case anybody had any, uh, any concerns. Yep. Uh, L Lucifer, I think, is morning the morning star. Look, this shit is really fucked up, okay? If you try to get into the actual canonical existence of Satan slash Lucifer, it gets really fucked up. And also, I mean, Satan... Uh is look at this i mean look uh what's the like can we just can we just acknowledge like can we just acknowledge some of this like hold on a second here can can we can we just hold on let's let me get some let me get some art here that's been inspired by fucking lucifer and satan over the ages like i mean look at this shit okay are you fucking kidding me like, this shit is fucking... Wait, this is really low quality, but this is from the movie Legend. Look at this motherfucker. Whew. And you know there's a million cool versions of Satan. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking cum gutters. Yep. Play, had to be played by Tim Curry. Look at the size of these horns. 
the little Nas X video. But also remember, um, just remember real quick. Uh, I want you to remember in the movie Legend, there's literally a shot where his hoof goes goo, goo, and then it pans up over his massive bulge up his ripped abs and he's just like <laughs> what you're am i am i making you embarrassed what am i making you embarrassed what are you shaming me are you kink shaming me right now you can't just start saying shit while i'm not on the screen you can't start saying shit about me satan just saying. All right. All right. All right. Satan isn't always masculine. It's just that this is the, the biblical depiction. So, yeah. In Russian Orthodox, the planet Venus is called Morning Star because they thought that women had no souls and they would go to the Morning Star when they died. Weird. All right. You gonna drag me? Hey, Sparkly Void. All right, all right. We have to move on from Satan now. Satan get is is up in the top one. What's this? <laughs> hey, look! Look at that! Based, based Lucifer. Look at that! What a cool dude. Hello, Bang on Head. Bang on Head, we are currently uh, on this holy Sunday. We are we have the Bible uh, kissability fuckability list. So. Yeah. Welcome. I hope you have fun. <laughs> True, Sailor MGC. What? Oh, lol? What do you mean? That's this fun as fuck. We've been having a great time. Judas and Jesus? I have not. I have not seen that short. All right. Let's move on, though. Mary. I have. Oh, Mary. All right. Mary, literally unfuckable. Mary is literally unfuckable. I'm sorry. Just actually unfuckable. You, you literally can't. Sparkly Void, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Let me explain this. Mary, the virgin, has forever been known throughout all of history as the Virgin Mary. She's a fucking virgin. Even if she wasn't literally a virgin, the reputation has, has stuck for all of fucking history. She was touched by an angel. G yeah, Joseph did, but it didn't matter. None of his fucks were good enough to like, like she was called the Virgin Mary for forever. So even though she did fuck Joseph multiple times, it wasn't good enough to make it into the history books. So, yeah, literally unfuckable. I'm sure Mary was very sweet. I'm sure she's very kind. I'm sure she's uh I'm I'm sure she's fan. She's she's nice. Hi Leftist Owl. Um I'm sure she's sweet. She seems like she was a great mom, but she's unfuckable. Virgin energy. Yeah. Unfuckable. You can be a nice person and unfuckable. That is very true. See that's what I'm saying. It's not always a truly bad person, right? Why the hell is Job up there? Wait, do I have to go back? Do I have to do? Do I need to re reschool you all on why Job is at the top? We already went over. Job is a badass, a bamf, a badass motherfucker. Job is is up there with Satan and Solomon because he's so badass. Yep, bamf. Good night, demon doggo. Oh, never mind.
All right, next, Joseph. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. Joseph, that regrettable hookup. Uh, maybe at some point left us out. Sorry, my schedule's been really bad lately. Sorry if I'm behind on everything. Um, maybe at some point. Joseph, regrettable hookup. Listen, here's what happens, okay? No, that's the other Joseph, right? Wait, no, Joseph. The many colored coat is uh, Joshua, right? Joshua? Or Joseph? Or is it... No, it's Joseph. That's the other Joseph. That's the other Joseph. No, no, that's the other Joseph. That's the other Joseph. That's the other Joseph. That's old Joseph. We're talking about new Joseph. We're talking about beta cuck Joseph. Cucked by God. And you know he internalized that shit. You know that guy internalized that shit. Okay? Like, there is zero possible way that New Testament Joseph didn't, like, totally get a hang-up for the rest of his life over the fact that God fucked his wife before he did. And that even though... And get this. Hold on. It gets even worse, okay? Yeah, we went over Old Joseph. Old old Joseph made it to the Awuga category. Um, And just remember this. Okay? I want you to remember this, okay? Um, Because Joseph... Remember, we just talked about how Mary was known as the Virgin Mary, Mary Magdalene, of the Ma Immaculate Conception. Even though we also know that Joseph fucked Mary at like six other times, at least, and still she's called a virgin. What does that say about you if you fuck someone six times and they still call themselves a virgin? I actually think we need to bump him down. I think Joseph needs to go into the bruh tier. It's cruel. It's cruel because it's not really his fault. But dude, hold on. Like, he needs to move on. It's not his fault, but he needs to, like, move on. Yeah, I think Joseph goes in the bruh tier. I'm sorry. It, it is a little cruel for me to do this to him. But it's kind of true, though. I wouldn't go that far, El Gowl. All right. He did raise G Jesus, and God was a deadbeat dad. Well, Dream Canoe, if the anal was good enough, then Mary wouldn't have called herself a virgin anymore. What? What was that, sorry? Am I going ham? Why is God bruh tier? Why is God bruh tier? Why is God bruh tier? Dude, bruh, God is like the worst. He's the worst. He's, he, he, Everything that's good about Jesus is inverted in God. Everything we love about Jesus is inverted in God. God is cruel. He's he's fickle. Oh, ooh, God is trans girl. We don't have any evidence of that though. See, God is trans girl. We don't have evidence of that. That's just that's just theory mongering. We have to go with what we actually know. Okay, we have to stick to the scripture. Okay, we have to script. We have to stick to the literary scripture. Okay, you can't just make shit up. He was a carpenter, which is pretty cool. But remember, this is the fuckability chart, and yes, while we take personality into it. We can't we can't just say because he was a good dad that he he makes it higher on the on the fuckability chart. Like Joseph has no personality. Okay? Just none. Sorry.
Okay. All right. Let's continue. <clears throat> no, there's never been a headrest on my chair. I don't. My chair doesn't have a headrest. My chair's never had a headrest. This I I didn't buy it with a headrest. I just don't like them. <sighs> All right, Paul. All right, everybody. We gotta we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Paul. Okay. Paul. The Apostle Paul. Now, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. Hmm. Now, this is not the same Paul that wrote... This is not Paul the Revelator. And also, Paul was super anti-gay. He was super anti-gay. Also, like... I don't know. Ah, I don't know. Huh. Be very anti gay. That's pretty bad. That's pretty lame. I'm looking through here to see this other stuff. Oh. God, he's so... Mm, he's so cucked. God, he's so cucked. Wait, when David was described as bi in the Bible, uh, it was just... It was inferred. It was It, it was implied. Yeah, I think he's going to be a bruh. I think we got to put Paul in the bruh category. Being ant being like the only anti-gay Bible figure, like the only explicitly anti-gay Bible figure is pretty bad. Okay, guys, I got another one for you. All right? We're we're go we're doing two in a row, okay? John the Baptist, unfuckable. Absolutely unfuckable. John the Baptist literally was just like a dirty guy who fucking ate bugs out in the woods. Sorry. Now, now hold on a second. Before we go, before we go too far, I do want to say living out in the woods and eating bugs isn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily make you unfuckable. But keep in mind that all that John the Baptist did was fucking dip people in water. That's all this motherfucker did his entire life. This is like the equivalent of the guy. Um, so, wait, I, did, I missed it. I missed it, Silent. Well, I don't know about John the Baptist, but I know that Herod Ant Ant Antipas gave good head. Oh. Uh, uh, because of the head chopping. <laughs> huh. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> John the Dunker, as you say. Yeah. This guy, the water dipper, does that sound sexy to you? Now listen, there is room for a wild man. After all, Esau is also a wild man. He also lives in the woods. He also eats bugs. But Esau is sexy. John the Baptist is not. Uh, John the Baptist is just embarrassing, okay? Like, not cool, not fun, not sexy. Uh, has Okay, have you ever met somebody who has, like, a kink that they never, ever, ever stop talking about? And it's literally the only thing that they ever do their entire life is just obsess over that kink. Have you ever met somebody like that? Or have you ever met a really obnoxious, like, um... Like, the the obnoxious, like, uh, uh, like, uh, what's the, what's the term? What's the website? What's the fucking website? FetLife couple? Have you ever met, like, the, what, the FetLife couple? You know what I'm talking about? They're like, we're really into kinky stuff. We're really into, we're into the most fucked up stuff ever. And then it's just like, 
uh yeah we ordered we or, we recently made an order from uh kink kink.com <laughs> uh, you might not have heard of it and it's really fucking annoying yeah it's like it's like it's like literally like they bought like pink handcuffs from like fucking adam and eve or kink.com or some shit Yeah, Phaedrus, you've missed a fun time. Don't worry, you can watch a uh, Phaedrus. If you want to catch the whole thing, you can switch over to YouTube and rewind. If you come to the website, demonmama.com forward slash live, you can click through and you can rewind. Yeah, this has been fun as fuck. Yeah, so kinky. But all they talk about is how kinky they are. And, and, and this is to contrast, because there are people who are obsessed with kink, don't get me wrong, that are still cool to be around. Like... You know, if you meet, like, if you have a friend who's, like, a professional dominatrix, like, her life is kink. But she's cool about it. She's not fucking weird about it. She's not, like, always, she's not like you go to dinner and only talks about kink. I'm not gentrifying kink. Not at all. I don't even try. Oh, they're gentrifying kink. Yeah, they are, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's John the Baptist. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, I dipped this girl in water. And it's like, oh my god, here we go again, John. Talking about dipping women in water. Oh, what a surprise. Who saw this coming? And then the next day, he's like, oh, well, well, let me tell you about the time I dipped a guy in water. And it's like, okay, we get it. You like dipping people in water. No judge. No judgment. But holy shit. Can we talk about something else? There you go. That's John. All right, let's continue. Pilati. I'm kidding. Pilot. Pontius Pilot. Pontius Pilot. Mm. Mm. Pontius Pilot. Mm. Mm. Is it Pillow Prince? Yeah. I'm going to say that Pilot falls in the regrettable hookup category. And I'm going to say it like this. He's a Roman legionnaire or general, right? Yeah, he's a general, okay? He's a Roman general. So he is powerful and he's clearly skilled and he's clearly intelligent. But he has this sort of like constant guilt around him where he like feels bad about everything so you know you'd fuck him and he would immediately be like he would be like mopey and sad and like reg and like and he would like unload a bunch of stuff that you there's no possible way that you could possibly uh deal with he's like oh this guy this jesus guy i sentenced him to death but i probably shouldn't have and you're like dude okay okay i get it that was like 10 years ago can we move on from jesus please i know you feel bad about like Jesus. Um, and and he's like, I washed my hands of it. I made a symbolic gesture, but I still feel bad. And you're like, dude, can we get to the banging? So I think he's going to be the regrettable hookup. He's probably not bad at sex. It's just everything before and after would be really fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Judas. 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 Bruh. Bruh. Judas. Bruh. No, bruh. Listen. Judas goes bruh tier. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? For a couple of reasons. He fucking sold Jesus out to the cops for 30 bucks. Then he spent his 30 bucks. He tried to throw his 30 bucks away and nobody took it. And so he picked it back up and he bought a fucking field to kill himself in. Just, just, oh, just the most, what is worse? What's less than a beta? What is like, not even a, like omegas are like, omegas are like people who they're like MGTOWs, right? Is it like a Delta? And here's the thing, Jesus was like ready to fucking go all the way with Judas. Jesus was like a hundred, he fucking smooched him. 
And like Jesus was ready to go all the way with Judas. And Judas was just he couldn't he couldn't commit and he fucking betrayed him. Yeah, but see that's 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 that is silent right there. That is that is Judas uh 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 what's the word? Not ref what's the word? Um What's the word? I can't think of the word. <gasps> Grime Dango! Hi! Grime Dango! Hi! Yeah, revisionism. Yeah, that's Judas revisionism. Yay! Good to see you again, Grime Dango. We are ranking the, uh, we are ranking the, uh, bi characters of the Bible by their fuckability. It's been incredibly fun so far. Uh, it's been taken us, like, two hours, and we've been having a great time with it. Uh... As you can see, we had to make a special category just for Solomon, Job, and Satan. Which is pretty pog. The concept of Satan is revisionism? No, the concept of Satan is or is organic, like, organic, fa uh, like, fantasy writing. Did Judas have a choice? It was God's plan? Okay, in the Bible, yeah, everything is God's plan, though. Pikmin student. Everything. Now, unlike, unlike with, uh, with Pharaoh, where it explicitly says in the Bible that God manipulated Pharaoh's heart, he hardened his heart, it doesn't say that with Judas. So, I don't think Judas gets that pass in the same way that Pharaoh does. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's continue. We got Judas. Judas is a bruh. There isn't truly a Satan of the Bible, though. Silent, I get it. You want to fuck Judas, but Judas is a bruh moment, okay? Sorry. Judas is bruh. Motherfuckers want to fuck money? True. True. I, I, like, like, m maybe Judas is there for the, like, NTR people. If you're, like, you're really into getting your heart broken. You're not right. You're wrong. We all know you're wrong. J nobody likes Judas. And that's because Judas just sucks. He just sucks. I hate playing and life. Yeah, Judas just sucks. Like, there's nothing to like about him. He's not a bad boy. He's a little cuck boy who snitches and sold his money. He kills himself because he's so sad that his money isn't even good. You can't fix him. That's unfixable. He doesn't want to be fixed. No, Jesus just looked Judas in the eyes and was like, I know what you're going to do to me, buddy. And Judas was like, no, no, you don't. And then Jesus was like, I'm God. I know what you're going to do to me. And Judas was like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Jesus, shut the fuck up! Yamato! It's the truth. Judas sucks. Nah, Judas doesn't deserve his own tier, because if anyone deserves their own tier, it would be God. But, nah. Steven. 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 The, Chris the first Christian martyr? Steven. What the hell's up with this guy? What the hell's he got on his head? What the fuck is this shit? Why's he got a fucking lump on his head? What's the lump? Oh, the rocks. It looks like he's got a fucking tumor, dude. Also, what is this haircut? What is this fucking haircut? Oh, that, that haircut alone, Steven, unfuckable. Yo, that is a, yeah, uh, yeah, he was, he just walked in, he was like, fuck me up, fuck me right up, fam. And then, and then the barber was like, I got you, I got you. Give me the toilet, give me the full, give me, give me the full ring. Give me the pool, pool circle. It's called a tonsure, I believe, is what it's called. You're vindicated by what? Vindicated by what? Same way that the Judas from Jesus from Judas 
Let's take a look. Did they make Judas the only black guy in that movie? And you think this is vindicating you, Silent. You think this is vindicating you. You want to go to a racist revisionist text to vindicate you about Judas being hot. Bruh. 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 Give me some of that beer. Bruh. Bro! All right. All right. We got to continue. Steven, cuck, unfuckable. That haircut, oof. He, listen, listen, everybody. Steven, Steven might have been able to make it out up into the regrettable hookup, but he was too busy being stoned. <laughs> 420, blaze it! He is hot in the racist revision. I'll give him that. I will give you that. I'll give you that. All right, I'll give you that. He is hot in the racist revision. Like, I mean, no joke. Like, I mean, I, I think it's fair to say that, but like that doesn't have any impact on what we're doing here because we're using actual Bible figures. Like, look at this. Like, yeah, he's definitely hot. He's definitely hot in the revision, for sure. No doubt about that. There's no doubt, no, no doubt about that. All I do is yell at my own. All I do is yell at my own community. Thank you. All I do is yell at my own community. Four hundred bucks is what Judas got. Bone Druid Best Dad says between ninety ninety one and four hundred and forty one dollar U.S. dollars was how much Judas was paid to fucking snitch on Jesus. All right, everybody. Let's continue, okay? Let's not let's not get any let's not get distracted. We got to figure out where the fuck Timothy falls on all this. Uh, all right. I feel like the books of Timothy were boring as shit, if I remember correctly. Whoa! Look at this fucking Morrowind. Look at this fucking look at this fucking Morrowind looking motherfucker. <laughs> Oh! Random character creator! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> this is terrible! Oh my god! Potion seller! <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true, Grime Dango. But we don't have Mammon on here. We could add him. We could add Mammon. Thank you, Phaedrus, for the 300 bits. I also am loving every minute of this. This is a great turn for this video game night, even though we're not doing video games. Uh, did I ever end up reading the Gospel of Thomas? Uh, I am familiar with the Gospel of Thomas, but it was not considered gospel uh, in the church I grew up in. So this is Tim. This is a guy named Tim. Uh... uh he wrote two fucking boring New Testament books that I can barely remember because I always fell asleep. This fucking Timothy's boring as shit. You know what I recall? You know what I remember of Timothy? Um. Uh. So. Timothy. Uh. I remember my fucking crazy, crazy ass cult leader pastor talking about, um. You're making vegan cheesy broccoli penne? That sounds fucking amazing, Grime Dango. Look at that. Look. See, Timothy is so unsexy. Um, yes, that's what I was about to say, comrade. C Timothy was the one who wrote about how women should be like uh submissive to their their husbands, which has literally led I I'm sorry. Timothy is we're going to give Timothy a, a We're doing it. We're doing it. We finally did it. Oh my god. 
We're giving him his own one. This is called the fucking. This is called the cuck tier. Timothy fucking fucking canonized misogyny. This little motherfucker. This fucking five head ass motherfucker. Tim the Enchanter. First and Second Timothy are wi widely considered by biblical scholars to be pseudo-epigraphical and not actually written by Paul. Pseudo-epigraphical means falsely attributed. So it was to Timothy. So Timothy wrote it and he tried to pass it off. Oh, he was a grandma's boy. Oh my god, he was literally a grandma's boy! Look! This is a picture called Timothy and his grandmother. Oh, he's a grandma's boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Timothy, cuck tier. Cuck tier. Absolutely cuck tier. John Doyle of the Bible. Loser. <laughs> Absolute loser. Absolute loser. Cuck. <laughs> yeah, meow toys. Timothy was so embarrassed with his awful takes that he blamed, he tried to blame it on somebody else. What a loser. What a loser. No, because God at least created the universe. You can't put God in cuck tier. He created the universe. He might be a horrible fucking monster, but he's not a, He's not as much of a cuck as Timothy. Like, come on. That is the most cuck thing we've read so far. The, writing a book so that you can make your wife listen to you is the most cuck shit. That's more cuck than Elisha fucking killing kids with using his God powers. At least Elisha was pissed off. Timothy's just like, oh, my wife won't listen to me. I'm going to write this in and then I'll blame it on Paul. Dennis Prager! Yes! He's literally Dennis Prager! <laughs> Timothy is literally Dennis Prager! He's a Tim Cell! Alright, that's what we're doing. We're putting this in the Tim Cell tier. Tim Cell. That's his new tier name. Tim Cell. So cucked. Oh god, he's so cucked. Holy shit. Alright. All right, we got to continue. Silas. All right, let's figure out who the fuck Silas is. I don't remember this guy. I don't remember fucking Silas. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Silas was Paul's buddy. Yeah, I remember this guy. Paul, Silas, and Timothy. Ooh. Let's see. Hmm. Hung around with fucking Barnabas. Dude, this guy's got nothing. This guy didn't do shit. Why is this guy on the list? <sighs> yeah, true. It's fucking Dennis Prager. <gasps> All right, Silas. Uh, I don't know. This guy has nothing. What the fuck did this guy do? I don't. I barely remember this guy. He got- oh, he broke out of prison. Oh, okay. Alright, that's something. Peter says that si Silas was a faithful brother. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Silas goes in the wood category. Silas- Silas is your- is your, uh, is your boyfriend's hot brother who doesn't really have much of a personality, but he's hot. And he got- he, uh, he- he got- he got out of, uh, jail on bail or something like that. No, no, he got out on technicality. He definitely did the crime, and he definitely got caught for it, and he definitely got thrown in prison, but he got out on a technicality. And so, you're like, you, you, he's the guy that you would, uh, he's the guy that, like, you would do a, thre a threesome with. But he's not, like, he's not, like, memorable. So he's a wood category. You know? Yeah, they forgot to read him his Miranda rights, and so he got out. Are we on Abel? Okay. I know. Hold on a second. Listen. Yeah, we have a pretty good balance. I mean, the Tim Cell category, obviously the top and bottom are, are kind of the big deals. We have a good mana curve going on here. What was the crime? Uh, being Christian. Am I pan? Yes. Uh, I am pansexual. Uh, although, like, I'm mostly attracted to femmes. Um, that doesn't really mean anything because I think gender is bullshit. So it is fair for me to say that I'm pan. 
there are some guys that I would fuck. It's just very rare. Very, very rare. Yep. Um. So, uh. Able. Everybody, we gotta do Able, okay? Able. Now. Able died. Which. <laughs> we bury. Why do you. you <laughs> Can we get some. Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to spam some Omega lols. At Weeberry. <laughs> you have to ask? Come the fuck on. Yeah. Abel found the bigger goat. If you fuck Abel, is it necrophilia? No, obviously not, because all of these people are dead. Except for uh Elijah. Elijah who got whipped who got sucked up into heaven by God. Which is weird because he wasn't that cool. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Abel. Let's focus everybody. Let's focus, okay? Well, I promise you that's not me, Weeberry. I I wear it on my sleeve, okay? Fun. What? Someone in chat asked if I was a top or a bottom. What do you think? Use your imagination. All right, let's continue. Okay, we got to figure out Abel, everybody. Stop stun locking me, okay? Jesus isn't dead. Okay. Abel. Guys, I think I think we're going to be a little kind to Abel. Okay? Abel? I think Abel goes in the who mama category. Okay? He's really good at farming. <laughs> Abel? Abel was good with animals. He was pretty. He was uh he was he lived for a fucking long ass time. He knew what God wanted. He knew how to speak God's language. He 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 t he got stoned, yeah. Abel Abel was so cool that God was like, I'm going to fuck up anybody who hurts him. So I think that he No, actually, I don't think I can give him a who mama. That's not fair. Would We'll put him in the wood, okay? Abel was clearly sensitive. He clearly was thoughtful in his sacrifices. Strapping young lad. He was God's special little man, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So, I think we'll put him in the wood category, yeah? The thing is, we don't know a whole lot about Abel's personality, which kind of sucks. It makes it hard to judge, so I can't really put him in the who mama category. To be completely honest. All right, everybody. You ready? It's been a while. It's been since the book of Daniel. Since we've had one of these. Mary Magdalene. You fucking know it, Awooga. You fucking know it. Awooga. You know Mary Magdalene is in the Awooga tier. Fucking Mary Magdalene is so pog. I fucking love Mary Magdalene. What a fucking girl boss. Mary Magdalene is so sexy that even Jesus was like, wow, bitch. She fucking washed God's feet. God washed her feet. Absolute babe. Just a total babe. We fucking love Mary Magdalene. And Mary Magdalene was like the first person to go find out that God was, was, was fucking, uh, poofed. She was like, I miss Jesus. I miss Jesus so much. And then she went and found out. She's like, Jesus is alive. That's how cool my... Mary Magdalene was so cool that Jesus let her be the one to discover that he got resurrected. In fucking... The, the fucking ancient times when women weren't allowed to do fucking shit. Jesus was just like, Mary Magdalene, you are so pog. I want you to be the one who finds out that I got resurrected. Absolutely, babe. Fucking smoking. Mary Magdalene, 
a Wooga tier, 100%. 100%. Breaking our terrible New Testament, uh, 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 whatever bullshit that we've had to put so many people in the lower tiers. Yeah, Mary Magdalene, 100% a Wooga. Damn. Unfortunately, 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 everybody, we have to follow up our, our hot mama, Mary Magdalene. Damn, that picture of Mary Magdalene is actually fucking cute. Holy shit! Look at the- Oh my god! Look at- Oh my god! Look at this! What- What a cutie! Holy shit! What a fucking cutie! She's even got a fucking halo! Wow. Wow, Mary. Wow, Mary Magdalene. Look at those manicured nails. Holy shit. Strong. She's strong of personality. She's got the ointment to make your feet feel better because you're walking around with no shoes on. Damn. Fucking damn. Everybody's soy facing. But that just goes to show you that we're right to put her in the awuga category. If you all are fucking soy facing right now, you're awuga ing. Okay? It's just true. She's the only redhead on this list so far, too, which is pretty impressive. I don't even know if redheads existed at that time. In that period of time. In that section of the world. Did they? Yeah, Constance moment. You better text Constance about that. Alright, everybody. Alright. Hate to follow listen, we've given we've given fair time to the wonderful Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene poggers his shit. Just absolutely incredible. But I gotta tell you, Peter, Peter, bruh, 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 founded the Catholic Church, fucking denied Jesus, what a cuck, what a cuck, Peter's a fucking cuck, his name even means penis, that's how, that's how, that's how it is, that, that's how you know, that's how you fucking know that he's not, he's not, he, 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 his name became a name for penis. That's how fucking dumb. Wait, was he the guy who was reverse crucified? Uh, yeah, he was. He was crucified upside what down. What a freaking loser! He couldn't even do it. He was like, no, no. No, no. Actually, to be fair, that was that was probably the most badass thing he ever did. To be fair. I mean, getting crucified. But also, he was a massive misogynist. He founded the. He was the founder of the uh, Catholic Church. He denied Christ three times. His name means penis. Fuck him. Bruh. Bruh. Peter, no good. No fucking good. Okay. Guys. Guys. I got another one. Okay? We got another one to go into this area. Herod. Fuck Herod. Oh my god. Fuck Herod. Oh wow. What a loser. A fucking child killer this dude was so insecure about Jesus Herod was so insecure about Jesus that he ordered his soldiers to go kill every baby that was born just so that they could make sure that there wouldn't be a challenger to him what a fucking cuck that is the that is the weakest shit ever oh my god the babies they're gonna get me snowflake just massive snowflake yeah yeah well historians historians who fucking cares Historians get the fuck out. We're we are in the wild world of theological speculation. We don't need no fucking historians here. Fuck historians. Fuck historians. We're we're fucking free balling it. Herod sucks. Also, didn't Herod like die from shitting himself to death? Isn't that- isn't that what happened? Didn't he like- didn't his guts like explode or was that somebody else? Wasn't that him? 
Yeah, wasn't he the guy that shitted himself to death? And the bugs came out of his belly? Because, like, he was so shitty. He had, like, a... Like, he basically... He basically was so constipated that he blew up. Am I thinking of the wrong guy? I know that's a Bible guy. Yeah, wait, somebody else who somebody else who knows the Bible is going to remind it's either Herod or it's it's Herod or somebody else. Somebody, I'm pretty sure it was Herod. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, ready? Ready? Herod died in Jericho after an excruciating, painful, putrefying illness of uncertain cause known as Herod's evil. Jo Josephus states that the pain of his illness led Herod to attempt suicide, and that attempt was thw thwarted only by his cousin. So basically, he got a disease that made him shit himself to death. Like, no joke. When you read it, it's like, it talks like Herod's, uh, this is what they said, the putrefying illness. The putrefying illness is because he filled up with shit and then died. There's three Herods. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? Whichever one. Yeah, he shit himself to death. Doo-doo, doo-doo, doo-doo uh, fart. The doo -doo biblical doo-doo fart. Doo How'd he get it? I don't know. An angel gave it to him or something. All right, everybody. John. Ooh, this one's going to be hard. John. John the Apostle. John. Not the Baptist. John the Apostle. John the Beloved. Wow. This guy lived so long that he died of natural causes. Isn't John the one who cut uh, the ear off the guy? Or was that Peter? Hold on, let's see. The disciple who Jesus loved. The, the disciple who Jesus loved as a brother is repeated six times. Oh, uh, uh oh. But it's repeated only six times in, in the Gospel of John. Ooh. Uh oh. But it was John who wrote that he was Jesus' favorite. Ooh. Cringe. Oh. I was God's favorite, guys. Guys, I promise, God loved me the most. Okay. Ooh, but he was a part of the... Oh, he was a part of the miraculous catch of fish, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. 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 Damn, this is tough. Oh. So, wait a second. Okay, so John may have been the one who wrote revelations Ooh, okay we're getting uh, we're getting a wrench in the works here john so it is contested as to whether it happened but i learned growing up that john was the one who wrote revelation but now there's people who think that's not the case so this is going to give us a tough challenge because if he's the revelator if he wrote revelation that means that that if he wrote revelations that means that he got high as balls on the island of pat of the on the isle of patmos and had like the coolest visions that anyone has ever seen and th by the way revelations is basically where all of like the satanic imagery that we that we have these days the satan as the devil the like apocalypse imagery all comes from revelation ooh 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 ooh, ooh. shit Yeah, but I mean, it says, look, listen, here, here's what it says, okay? Hold on, here's what it says. 
One second. Let me see here. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. It does say that he... It says here that he wrote it. The book of Revelation, also called the Apocalypse of John, Revelation to John, or the Revelation from Jesus Christ, is the final book of the New Testament, and consequently the only, also the final book of the Christian Bible. The author names himself as John, but his precise identity remains a point of academic debate. Second century Christian writers um, identify John the Apostle as the John who wrote Revelation. Modern scholarship believes that nothing can be known except that he was a Christian prophet. Okay, so to be fair... To be fair, we're going to say, for the purposes of this, John is John the Revelator. And if that's true, if that is true, beloved of Jesus, John the Revelator, he's the first, he is the first of the apostles who makes it to the Who Mama category. Because that is cool. Okay, if you go to an island, you get fucking high as balls, and you have the most ridiculous, and you write a fantasy novel about the future, and then everybody, and it literally influences all literature and stuff forever, that's fucking wild. Yeah, there's kinky shit in Revelations, that is very true. There is fucking wild shit. Yeah, he fucked Jesus, him and Jesus fucked, for sure. So that gives that gives John some cred because we put Jesus in the Awuga tier and we know that Jesus got good taste. So if Jesus fucked John and John also partied on the island of Patmos with fucking mushrooms and acid. I I got to say that's pretty pog. Let's drink to John, baby. Yeah, let's fucking let's pour, let's fucking drink to John. John fucks. Yep. Cool John. I bet that's what they called him, too. They called John the Baptist Stinky John, and they called him Cool John. <laughs> uh-oh, Stinky, yeah. Uh-oh, fuck. There co here comes John the Baptist. Oh, God, that guy stinks. I heard he fucked a frog. I have, yes. I have, Red Wave. All right. Next is fucking Zacharias, this motherfucker. Another boring book. Fucking Zacharias of the Bible. This motherfucker, this guy's book sucks. I can barely remember anything of it. Oh, but he looks like a pog lord. Holy shit, look at this guy. Holy shit, he looks like a badass. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Chad energy, though. So, don't remember his book for shit, but he looks like fucking Sun Tzu or something. Look at this guy. He looks like he's about to fucking kick people's ass. This is Cool John, and this is Zacharias. This fucking wise motherfucker over here is Zacharias, and this is fucking John Cool John. Ooh, wizard. Wow. Ooh, we got to think about this one now. His book might have been boring, but maybe he wasn't boring. Oh, he was the... Oh, 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 interesting. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. No, I made a mistake. Hold on, I made a small s mistake. I made a mistake. That is not. That is John the Baptist. That is uncool John. Stinky John. His son was Stinky John. <sighs> I made a mistake. I forgot. His son was Stinky John. Uh-oh. But wait a second. Listen to this. Yeah, I barely remember this guy. Hold on. Listen to this here. Oh, listen to this! The Gospel of James, a second century apocryphal work, recounts that at the time of the massacre of the innocents, the time that King Herod ordered the slaughter of all babies, of all baby males under the age of two. In, wait, listen, listen. In an attempt to prevent the Messiah, Zechariah refused to divulge the whereabouts of his son and got killed by soldiers. So, Stinky John is Stinky John. 
But Stinky John grew up without a dad. So, Zachariah was like, I will not tell you where my son is. And then they stabbed him, and he's like, no, I won't tell you, and they fucking killed him. Zachariah is a, a pog! Oh, shit. Daddy moment. He's a wise, kind wizard. Oh, shit. Fuck. This is hard now. There's some, there's gotta be some strange notes in there. Yeah. Fucking Fawn back here is looking through my old Bible and finding my old notes. Yikers. Yikers. I don't even know the person who wrote those anymore. That person's yeah, long dead. Know. It's mine. They're my notes. That's my handwriting. Well, yes, I know. Anyway. So, good dad. Wait. Good dad looks like Gandalf. Pretty fucking cool. Okay. Zacharias. I think we're going to give Zacharias a wood. I think we're going to put him in the wood. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay, now this is Elizabeth. The mother of John the Baptist and the wife of Zachariah. So this is Zachariah's wife. She didn't have a kid. Oh, I remember her. She couldn't have a kid until... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That's right. I forgot about this. So, um, Zacharias got struck. He got struck blind and unable to speak until his wife had a baby. So, he got, he got afflicted by Gabriel. An archangel appeared to Zacharias, made him blind, made him unable to speak, and then made his wife be able to have a baby because she couldn't have a baby before. And that baby ended up being Stinky John. So... That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Elizabeth. Exalted by God. They were devout and steadfast. Hmm. So she got her pussy healed in late age. That's interesting. So she has a she has an angelically buffed pussy. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I think we have to put her in the wood category. Like, we don't know a whole lot about her, but I don't know. Angelically blessed pussy. That's kind of... That's kind of interesting. Like, because she was like an old lady, but she got buffed. So she got like a new pussy. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll put that in the wood category. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know who's next, right? You know who it is, right? The Antichrist! Oh, the Antichrist! Oh, fuck! Antichrist! I think we're gonna put Antichrist in the Who Mama category. I don't think I can put Antichrist in the Awuga, because to be fair, the Antichrist is is basically like framed like a modern politician, and that's pretty lame. But, but at the same time, a powerful individual. We don't know whether they're a male or female, so they're non-binary canonically. That's how it goes. That's just the rule. I shut up. You can't. This, the logic is perfect. Um, the Antichrist has yet to arrive, so it's still believable. If you're a believer, it is possible that right now you could fuck the Antichrist within your life. The Antichrist could be among us. I could be the Antichrist, which actually means. I have to put the Antichrist up a level, actually, because possibly me, Tyr, because there is a, a, a possibility 
that I am the Antichrist. And, I mean, I think we all know, right? I mean, fun, what? Did you fuck me? There we go. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Don't even need it. No more, no more argument needed. The false prophet. I thought the false prophet was the same thing as the Antichrist. Isn't the Antichrist and the false prophet the same? Uh, like what? No, no, she didn't. You just couldn't see her K dash prime. Wait, really? They're, they're different? Oh, right. Wait a second. The false prophet. Wait a second. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on, let's take a look here. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, right. This is confusing. This is fucking confusing. This is fucking confusing. The false prophet is Joe Biden. The Antichrist is Kamala Harris. So wait, was the is the Antichrist the second one? So the false prophet is just like, so he's like worm tongue. The beast of the sea, the false prophet, and the beast of the air, and the dragon, who the former three work for. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know which, I didn't know which one was which. Hey, Amphi, uh, we're rating biblical characters by their fuckability instead of playing video games because this is much, this is like really fun. It's, it's fun for me, yeah. The beast of the earth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Beast of the earth. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't get this. Like, I, I, I don't get who the difference is. So the false prophet is like somebody who comes before the Antichrist? He's a sidekick? This seems really difficult. Yeah, see, this is the thing. In my church, they, like, smeared these together. Hmm. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can find out anything more. Okay. Oh, so the false prophet is like... Kind of looks like Satan or something, huh? The beast and the false prophet. Isn't the... After the defeat of the Antichrist, S Satan, the Beast, and the False Prophet suffer in the Lake of Fire. The Second Prophet was perhaps added to achieve symmetry. Uh... Yeah, I... See, um, this is really tough. Can we just skip this one? Can we skip this one? This is like dumb. Yeah. Yeah, this is dumb. That's just the Antichrist. The, fa the false prophet and the Antichrist always get smeared they're together. Like, they're like, they're like this. They're buddies. Yeah. Two different people. And they're buddies. <laughs> All right, Noah. All right, we got to do Noah. Okay, Noah. Ooh. Wait, didn't Noah? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Noah's daughters. Oh, this is so fucked. Okay, so hold on a second. This is going to get really fucked, okay? Noah? Okay, good with animals. Like, fucking good with animals, okay? Noah built an ark 
with his own fucking hands, okay? Survived a, uh, uh, the entire fucking earth getting destroyed. Got drunk and fucked his daughters. Rather, his daughters got drunk and fucked him. And I know a lot of you said the incest thing, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, uh, um, but he was the victim. He was the victim. That's Lot? No. No, it is not. How did Noah's, Noah's daughters got him drunk? Oh, oh, it was Lot. Oh, it was Lot. Why did I think it was Noah? Why did I think it was Noah? Oh! Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. It's his son. He... Oh, by the way, when you search this, it just says, saw the nakedness of his father. Um, set, People are saying that it's implying that he had sex with his dad. Ooh, okay. All right. We're going to put that one in the fucking bruh. Noah, straight to the bruh zone. Wow! Straight to the bruh zone. Woo! Out you go. Abraham. 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 Fucking Abe. Abraham. 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 Straight to bruh? He tried to stab his kid. But he did it because God told him to. And he had every reason to fear God. Father Abraham had many sons. Fuck you. Next. Lot. Fuck you, Lot. Lot goes in the bruh category. Lot, fucking loser. Lot is a dumb loser who let God fucking turn his wife into a pillar of salt. Fuck Lot. Lot's a goddamn loser. Okay? Yeah, Lot's easy. I've been sitting on Lot for a while. I knew I was going to give Lot the fucking bruh category because Lot is fucking cringe as shit. What a fucking cringe lord. Oh, you can't see the tier list. Fuck, shit. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's my bad. I'm very sorry. Lot threw his daughters out? Yeah, what a fucking loser. Lot's such a cuck. I almost want to put him in the Tim Cell category, but it wouldn't make sense. It's not his fault. He's, a, he's not a fucking victim. What do you mean? Lot was not a victim. No. Lot was fucking stupid. He could just kept his door locked. He made up all that shit about fucking Sodom and Gomorrah. We all know Sodom and Gomorrah was just fucking fine. Lot was just a homophobe. And he was like, oh, why don't you fuck my daughters instead of my, my friends? Ah. Fuck him. Fuck Lot. Fuck you. And if you like Lot, fuck you. All right. All right. All right, everybody. His daughters raped him? True. Oh, yeah, true. But that's that was, like, later, wasn't it? That was later, though. That was fucking later. That was fucking later. That was revenge for him throwing him out. Wait a minute. That was revenge. That was revenge. For, for, that, for him throwing them out to the crowd. All right. Fuck you, guys. Fuck you. Lot goes in the bruh tier. Fuck you. Fuck you. Lot goes in the bruh tier. Bruh Just keep your door locked. Fuck you. You know what, Spectrum? Fuck you. I don't think rape counts as valid revenge. We're in the Bible, okay? We're in the Bible here, okay? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Are we gonna get all particular about this? Do you recall who we've put on the fucking list so far? Do you recall who we fucking put on the list so far? Pharaoh! A slave owner is in the Who Mama list. We already said that everyone on this list is fucking problematic. You don't get to fucking virtue signal on me about this. You don't get to fucking virtue signal at me about fucking Lot. I can't believe- No, 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 no. Hold on just a second. No, hold on a minute. 
I can't do this anymore. No, I have to speak up. I have to speak up. I can't take it anymore. The imps have gone too far. You all choose Lot as the hill you want to die on? Lot? All of these people we go through and there's no moral outrage until we get to Lot? Lot? I can't believe you people. I can't believe you people. I'm fucking, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't do it. I thought we would be able to finish it, but I can't do it. I can't finish it. Yeah, you can. There's literally one more. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. Not for you the can't imps. Bring it to do no, the imps more. have hurt me too too deeply. Why have you done this, imps? What's wrong with you? You've 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 harmed her. Yeah, true. Silent Silent has been vindicated. But not in the way Silent expected. Not in the way they expected. They expected that they would be vindicated by everyone thinking Judas was hot. But instead, they were vindicated by everyone fucking choosing Lot to be the battle to die on. I mean, kind of. It's been... It's a long segment. No, I wasn't, Gayfesh. You want to know? You want to know how you know that's false? Look at how many's left. One. Sarah. Sarah is the last one left. You were dedicated. Yeah, I've been dedicated to this. You, I mean, you are how dare you, gay fish? How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you? After 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 battling to make Lot higher than a bra tier, you try to say that I don't have the devotion? I'll show you, gay fish. I'll fucking show you. I can't believe I'm having to do this. I'm sorry. You made me do this. God hardened my heart. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. If in God's plan, he made the mute button so much stronger than a woman. <laughs> you muted your own mod. I freed you, gay fish. We love you, gay fish. We don't oh yeah, Vosh's roommate. Famous Vosh's roommate, gay fish. <sighs> All right, we have to do Sarah. Okay, everybody. We have to do Sarah. You weren't arguing for Lot to be higher, weren't you? Weren't you, though? I think you were. Sarah? Sarah was Abraham's wife, right? Wasn't Sarah, like, super jealous? Wasn't she, like, super, super jealous or something? Hey, Axe Eddie. Axe Eddie. Thank you very much for the, for the Prime sub. Thank you very much. Remember, Prime subs are free. You can toss them my way and help me have some money. He's super sick. Super fucking sick. Oh yeah, didn't Sarah try to have Hagar killed? Yeah, Sarah gave Hagar to Abraham as a slave to fuck. Ooh. Hmm. It's kind of weird. This resulted in tension between Sarah and Hagar. Sarah complained to her husband that the handmaid no longer respected her. At one point, Hagar fled, but returned after angels consult consoled her. Dude, Sarah, what the fuck? What the fuck, Sarah? Damn. Sarah, huh? I think Sarah would be the regrettable hookup. Because again, Sarah, Sarah is like, like, pretty fucking important. She's clearly got some girl boss energy. But I think I would regret it after knowing that she like actively kept slaves and also like got mad at her slaves for disrespecting her. Right? I love your eyebrows. My eyebrow? What, 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 what about my eyebrows? Someone mentioned your eyebrows. Somebody mentioned my eyebrows? My eyebrows? Mama, Mama has Omni Man's eyebrows. Omni Man. Who's Omni Man? Oh no. What? <laughs> is that a good thing? This is a bully. Mama has Mama eyebrows. Her eyebrows are beautiful. Oh, it's this guy. Wait, I have. I guess. I, oh, I kind of do actually, though. Oh. It's kind of true. It's just the style. Yeah, he's got sharp eyebrows. Did you know that, like, uh? Dude, wait, hold on a second, though. Did Her you? Eyebrows aren't even like 
changed or anything. They're just shaped like that. Yeah, I don't even get my eyebrows done. I haven't got my eyebrows done in forever. I will say, though, the one thing I've been complimented on before and after transition is my eyebrows. And my eyes, of course. But my eyebrows. eyebrows. My eyebrows. Yeah, before and after. Turns out, non-binary eyebrows overpowered. All right, everybody. We did it. We fucking did it. We made it through the list. We made it through the list and it only took us six hours. I hope it was worth it. I hope you all had fun. I had fun. To be completely honest, I did have fun.